Oh, Lucian Q. I'm done counting. What's that Ari skin? Can't tell. It's just the base one. Nope. Wow, red into top gank. Are you serious? This guy wow. is disgusting. Oh, oh how does he know honor? I'm, I'm ahead Ooh. of you guys. I'm Wait. ahead of you guys. Someday <laughs> is yeah. Someday sad about that one. What that is. Oh funny. my god. I thought you were saying it about Rivers Flash, which was troll. I mean, they both fucked Fail Flash. Like that's so tragic. Yeah, that was that was a hundred percent free escape from someday. Yeah. And he fucked it. Yeah. Oh wow, Abadage missed E Flash on a stun target. That's a fucking disaster. Or maybe it was like one second off cooldown, so it like didn't perfectly chain, so he got to like move out. But well, he didn't flash E. Just uh, just, yeah. I'm gonna speed oh. up. Yeah, actually, I'm a, okay. I'm a 301, 302, 303. Uh oh, replay. Bummer. Should be good here. I think I should be good here. Fake God played this so poorly. Like he should have been walking up and pushing him into River that whole time. And and that's what allowed someday to almost escape. Actually, hilarious. He got body blocked <laughs> well, it, by Darwin there. Either way he goes, isn't he going to River? Oh, uh, yes. Yes, he is. River knows that he got away with some bullshit there. Yeah. He's just like, ah, uh, only in North America. I think, uh... I'm a huge oh. fan of... Wait. Neo... Wow. Oh, holy. oh, no. Was there a way they could have made those traps hit like an earlier flay or was yeah, it, is that yeah. just like not yeah. connectable? Neo, Neo, yeah, no, Neo did a little little bit too slow on the traps. I think he could just max range it and then he could flay into it. <laughs> was it the most yeah. recent So nerf? what were, I, 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 I like skim the nerfs. I, I remember the early game range. Was there other stuff too? Yeah, it was mana cost on, uh, oh my God. Ugh. Oh, that was, that was really ugly. That was. Mana Not cost it. on her rockets early got changed. Oh, oh yeah, I see uh, it increased, and then also the uh, yeah the range increased. But like, all things equal, if you hit level nine, it's the same champ as before the nurse. So yeah, she's still incredibly OP. Um, I think I think this Zaya is like the lethality Zaya is coming pretty slow to NA, but like. I see it a oh lot in my bruh. <laughs> yeah, that's that's not that's not how you're supposed to use that ability. Usually you want to hit him with the bullets. <laughs> it's actually so funny, man. Like <clears throat> Lucian when he's meta top, it's just like a fight between the AD carry and the top laner about how to play the champ. What but are the he, common he's... mistakes you see top laners make or just I guess people who don't play Lucian, what are the Perfect. pitfalls people should avoid? I don't know about avoiding. Is it I don't know, about yeah. like landing the Qs early? Yeah. It's super massive. Yeah, like I think like 90% of Lucian's landing phase just comes from landing Q. And like landing it in a way so you're not like hard pushing the wave. So you're just like constantly queuing them through minions, but like the wave is not easy for them to farm because you're never going to hit them under turret, basically. You have 500 range. Um, also, I feel like just team fighting with Lucian is a million times harder than, than laning. I think, I think anybody, if you play Lucian, like, even if you, like, are kind of bad at the champion, you're gonna be even in lane. I, I cannot imagine, like, man, this champ just, like, curb stumps Lucian in lane. He can't farm, because, like, the champ is just so easy to play, I guess. What about um, Irelia? Like, I, I don't know. I feel like Lucian can just farm against almost anything. I could be wrong, but, like... I've never seen Lucian get shit on in lane. So, I think like when you're ahead 10 CS, you shouldn't feel proud of yourself. You should just feel like, okay, like, do I know how to team fight or not? Because you have like 500 range in team fights and half the champs in the game can one shot you. Hmm. I think that's there, hard. There is a victor actually on dig as well. So, someday might have a hard time in team fights. Uh oh, that could be tough. Oh, wow, that's unlucky as fuck for someday. He wasted Another his dash. unlucky. That's so unlucky, actually. Oh no! Oh. Wow! Closer. No way. Closer just played that. That. Oh my. What? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my What's god. What's happening like... this game, dude? Is there some fucking like? Are they playing with super high ping on stage? Huh. I. There's think... some funky shit going on. I think Closer's mouse exploded. 
along with Someday's mouse at level one and River's mouse, also at level one. Everyone's was... fucking. They need a lunge check G903 stat. Yeah, I've been seeing some it's sus Volibears in LCS. I like. Vol I don't think Volibears are hard champ to play by any means, but you can definitely still be bad at them. I've been seeing some fucking demon plays. <laughs> So, so far his two mistakes have absolutely nothing to do with fake out. I think anyone would die to the Jarvan level 2 gank. I mean, obviously the way it played out was like troll, right? But like, who the fuck is going to expect a Jarvan to start red and gank you before you hit level 2 top lane? Like, that is a really cheesy gank that only works once per like, I don't know. I mean, it shouldn't have even worked though, but like the, the yeah, fail yeah, flash. The, that's one the, of those the things way where that it's it, like, you know, if the way you're that it feeling pressure. Yeah. Yeah, like, if, if he's in his head about it a little bit, maybe he... Like, I don't think pro players should fail that flash, really, ever. I mean, honestly, that one was fucking weird. I, I don't blame him that much. Ooh. Someday failing that flash? Yeah. Oh, that's huge, but... Like, that that wall is fucking aids to flash over when someone's on top of you. I don't know. Like, of course, I could go, we could go in a custom game and hit it every single time, but, like, someone's auto-attacking you, and that that's a fat-ass wall, like... I think it's fucking... Yeah, I mean, if you're getting, like, partially blocked by Jarvan... Uh, he was. Fucking... He, he definitely was. I don't think he was up against the wall. Got yeah, I, I, I think you make it, though, like... Because he had a good amount of time, too, right? Like, he... Yeah. He could have, like, moved down a little bit for the easier angle, too. Yeah. Just... It's not, like, the most heinous mistake of all time. Like, that is one of the more common yeah. fail flashes, but... It's not to say you should fail it, but you can't do it. <clears throat> yeah, that's true. I, I I see what you're saying. It could definitely be like he's already thrown off and like that made him fuck it up too. But the the second death that he did, um, that yeah, was the him second one was connecting to his jungler and like so fucking unlucky. It was just a perfect timing by River again. Oh my! Oh wow! Oh wow! That's not what you want to see. Oh, Lena. Uh -huh. Good sweet. Can you please get it? Thank you. Oh, oh, River! Oh! Oh my god. Wait. What the fuck am I watching this game? What is going on? Who's even winning here? Everyone's everyone's dead, thieves. man. No, no, no. Dig is winning. Thieves is winning? Dig yeah, is 100 winning? Thieves wins this. <clears throat> god, he's... Holy shit, dude! Fuck? That was so Okay, River spicy. didn't have smite, but he how he fu he didn't EQ out of the pit, he, he just queued. Dude, dude, watch what <laughs> happened between Zaya and and Victor. Like when they show the replay, watch what happens. It's just everything happening there is just like out of a fucking clown music. Oh. And now and now are you serious? Neo oh. actually dies and gives shutdown like that. Oh, oh my god. god. Dude. I'm that is so the laziest lost. recall I've ever seen in my life. Okay, so I, I imagine this game, there's no stakes on this game, right? Like, it won't affect either of these teams getting the playoffs. Getting the Because uh, this yeah, feels but, like, that's no. like the only explanation I can no, think no, of. No, 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 no. Pretty sure it affects Dig. That's, that's Copium, that's Copium. Uh, dude, like, i so Copium. You're these actually... people are playing so lazy. No, no, like, straight up, dude, I think this is just what happens when... Dig uh, has to win, actually. When Fake God is in the game, it just makes everyone so fucking nervous to be in the presence of a monster like that. If, if Dig loses, then they're out. Let's, let's see this again. Yeah, so, so Jarvan smites down. So, Closer just dies without doing anything because he got chained. And now... Oh, oh that okay. was a really good replay. No. Wait. What the fuck, man? I don't even care that he fucking died. Show that banger fight. Can they fight. just not show that on the... Yeah, can they just not show that on the bottom right? Like, this is... Wait, that's not a play. That's this is not a play. This is not a play. You're just gonna die. How how do you think you can go in here? Are you serious? Huh? What? A two. <laughs> like this game is actually one of no the lowest way. quality games that... we've seen in a while. Where like you ev think that everything that was a... happening is just mistakes. Yeah. <laughs> People chain throwing back and forth. Wow. A bear god. Somebody, somebody in my chat called 100 Thieves 10,000 Whores, and I can't get over it. 10,000 Whores? Hmm. Yeah.
He said, what is 10,000 whores doing? Hmm. And I gotta Jesus. say, I'm... I... <laughs> Give the Who kill! Is Worse. A fed oh. Victor can actually fuck this comp so hard. I think Victor honestly sucks balls against Rakan. I I don't think I don't you think, think Rakan can just solo kill him. Yeah, yeah, definitely. No, I just think Rakan really counters like mid range champions without dashes. If you have a dash, you're probably okay. Uh, or mid range pick one. <laughs> no, he 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 definitely is super vulnerable to getting killed by Rakan. I think. Victor's a catchable champ, for sure. I mean, a Blaze Olive showed me that Victor is very easy to catch. Yeah, yeah. dude. Yeah. I think also, Victor's definitely one of the mages you can play farthest back. If you want to do no damage, yeah. I mean, he's I not like more a, damage than other people. If you're not, that if you're not, if you're not pressing Q autos in team fights, you're not really doing damage. I, I wouldn't just... call him a high range mage, but yeah, I think really? like Syndra... that, that's like his niche. He outranges mm. eighty carries, and he just blasts them with his no, er. No, it's not the range on the eighty carry. It's more like just he drops the R, and like what the fuck can you do? You just have to run. Yeah, but the the range at which oh the here's R... the counter. He's Whoa. literally getting countered by Rakan. Wait, they oh he just flash, dude. Oh, I, I just. Um, what the f FBI is actually no, just nothing about trolling. this play makes sense. Like, why is blue here? No way. How is he not out. dead? <laughs> wait, oh, he's dead. And four. I'm so oh, wait, fucking Neo confused, is man. Neo fucking dead now. And now, what dude, am I watching? FBI just did the same. You guys realize the same play I saw twice. FBI ults. He e flashes on Victor. Victor flashes out, and now FBI is just dead. Like, <laughs> can he stop using Zaya E flash? Like, it's like a fucking on cooldown ability. Like, you don't need to do that. You can just play normal. I'm done counting. Two I times think, in a row, same result. <clears throat> hmm. Oh, this he's is... playing the poke Zaya as well. Yeah, yeah, this is normal. I've seen I a lot think... of that recently. I don't think crit size is that good, honestly. I think, I think the. Isn't that what like, someone played yesterday? Crit Zion? Uh, In I didn't where? see it. In LCS. In LCS? Not, not in LCS. No, that was Crit so. Kaisa, maybe you're thinking of? Yeah. With the weird build? Danny Crit Kaisa. With the 40 minute tier that never actually came in. Um, <laughs> no, this, <laughs> this, guy builds, this guy builds actually completely OP. Like, I, I genuinely think this is like a neutrally, like, just a good champion. Maybe. I don't really, I don't really see the weakness. Like her laning phase is great, her scaling is great, and she's got good range. She's got good sustained damage, actually, consistent damage. I think, I think it's really good. People played a lot in LPL, or, or sorry, Dokdom plays it a lot in LCK. Some people play in LPL, and when I watch it, it's pretty strong. As far as I understand it, like, this build actually scales like crazy. That's how it feels. More than a crit Zion? Uh, Zion, yeah. Like, I don't know if it's more, but like, a QE, for example, will just do like a... a at oh least my a god. Oh, oh, He's getting gang banged. Oh no, Abadaga is actually Ooh. getting victored. Dude, I don't understand Dig. How are they have one strong member and it's Victor and they're not playing around him? It's pissing me off. Uh, How are they putting him in a spot to nah, get killed? No, 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 no. The, they're they're on a reset. Thresh just reset for wards. I think that's Victor's fault for not playing according to. Yeah, his, I mean, his team's I, I'm not saying it's like the team's fault for not being there at that second, but I'm just saying in general, like how is Victor being in a spot where he's getting caught ever? He did yeah. be trolling. <laughs> I think it should be so hard for Hunter Thieves to play this game. Yeah, I, mean, I think maybe I think... not anymore after all this throwing, but like when Victor was fed as fuck, that actually seems like GG to me. Yeah, but if 10, he's not just Horus running is it down, just really good lane. at side lane too, catching. All right, Medius, you asked if it scales better than Crit Saiya. I would say like if you compare it to when Crit Saiya is like actually good, then no, but like it. It feels so much better because you don't have to like auto attack. Twenty-four. Well, there was that yeah. recent-ish buff on Zion where she got 
more uh, damage on her crit E or some shit like that, right? Yeah. I don't think it ended up changing anything. Ooh. Wait. That could have been soul for 10,000 whores. Yeah. That was that a straight up soul flip. Been... Oh, here comes 10,000 whores engage. How is Victor in the front here? Hold he gets up. Wait, he's not baiting. even dead. He's actually not dead. What the fuck? Oh, oh my it's a God. fucking disaster. Well, that makes sense. How, how did three look, people look on 100 days. Thieves just die with, with flash up? <laughs> look where some days. No, no, honestly. They engaged, and some days just over the wall. Uh, I'm not even kidding. What did play he this do? replay again. He, he had a good play spot. this replay again. Someday has 100% mana, 100% HP. Like, I, I just, I want them to watch this fight again. Like, how is that the time to go in? I I'm want them so to confused. Watch it and then cut the replay because Lucian's yes. killing fucking golems. Please. That should wow. be enough time for a replay start. Let's go. Yeah. Let's hop into it. Flip the go. switch. I'm gonna watch Lucian. Okay, here we go. He, He's he in prime like position, boys. Okay, ult. Yeah, good ulti. Blue is frontlining here by himself. Okay. Watching Lucian. He's full HP. Okay, never mind. He did do some damage. He did do some damage. That's my bad, guys. He didn't do much, but it didn't look it, like he I, could I, do I, more. I think it's his team got wiped too fast. That's not... Yeah, he couldn't really go more. But I think... How did Victor survive, given his positioning there? I feel like he should have insta-died. I don't know. That's what I was saying. I was like, he looks fucked, and then he just doesn't, and then they all die. I like that Jarvan build. <laughs> oh Dude, my I, god. I swear to god, that's just going to become the meta on junglers. Every fucking jungler is just going to get second item Zonia. Because, like, kind of what we talk about sometimes with, like, jungler income. Past your first item, you literally just get outskilled so fucking hard. Because laners take every camp, so you have to group. You have to buy pinks. So you just turn you into just don't AP Jarvan. Oh, uh... I mean, it's, it's the... It's the thing you can make that's most effective in team fights, right? Like you just It's just a permanent stopwatch. Uh, yeah, I mean are it's, you it's sure similar to like that, gargoyle before. Right? Are you like, sure you that this is it. better than Sterix or Stone Plate or Yeah. For sure. Sterix is so trash now. I am not the most sold on uh on the Zonia second item Jarvan, guys. I I think... I mean, okay, yes. so look, th Stop this guy is winning. Their team's hard winning, but you're still so fucking squishy. So this is like... If, if you're looking at the amount of time you can make in a fight, I think the two and a half seconds of Zonia is going to be more time than like any defensive item you can buy for the same gold. And it'll get let you get like another round of cooldowns. Or bait people. Avoid damage. Well, the problem is just you gimp your damage because you bought. Yeah, yeah but like you're you're not doing relevant damage anyway. Like you're not. You you're don't never soul killing someone as Jarvan. Well, it's not solo. Mm, not kill, not but... really. I think Gore Drinker is a pretty big spike, but Jarvan like past level nine. Jarvan's just on a free fall for his scaling. He he doesn't yeah. scale at all. You think it's only viable on Jarvan? I mean, because he he does have a random AP ratio. No, I mean, I mean people have been doing it on like Volibear. Who else? Volley what? Uh... Oh? Oh shit, I'm missing a banger fight. Oh? You'd probably do it on like Hecarim. Oh, that Ooh. rocket it ulted, so it was like so fucked. Oh god. Wait, what? Are they oh, gonna god. be- How is Blue Jarvan? there? Oh, he's fucking low. Oh, he's oh, dead. dead. Wait, what did he die to? Oh my I god. I don't know, red buff, maybe. I think Neo's red. Holy shit. 10,000 whores. 10,000 whores. Their win streak gone just like that. Holy shit, man. They did that one drag. Wait, why is it 10,000? I don't know. Okay. Don't ask me, man. I didn't I didn't make the rules. Hmm. I think any jungler who goes like chem tank can just do that. Just get Zonia. Like, I'm not saying it's best all the time, or like you need it all the time, but it, like playing jungle, it just it makes sense because like sometimes it's jungle, like you just literally won't get gold for a like, super extended period of time. There can be like a 10 minute period of time where you just don't have money.
if you're buying yeah. pinks and grouping with your team. And in that time, the enemy carrier will get two more items. And you're stuck on food stamps. Food stamps? Oh, Somebody's playing that one really Why did really Blue well? just flash out and then walk back in? Because he's smart. Uh, because he's, look at this, look at this mega chat. He never what? dies. Where was the Zonia's river? Cool down. Ooh. Jinx is balanced, guys. <laughs> <laughs> good night, Perfect. good night. Well, that is insanely good for Dig. Every time I see Jinx win against a low-range comp, like, uh, yesterday it was, uh, lost Jinx versus, like, a Kaisa Graves. I just think, yes, you know, well played, good job. But, man, kind of want this champ to stop being in every game, because it's pretty insanely faithful to play. Dude, what's the winner on this Jinx-Victor comp? I've been seeing it so much, and I swear to God, it's just the way to go. Mega broken. It's NA just so mega broken. broken or every region? Uh, in A. Okay. Well, I mean, I, I think in general it it's is, strong. It is almost permabanned in certain certain teams, certain regions. Just it just doesn't go through. If I'm up against a really good AD carry, I don't care if he has Jinx. But I think it's weird. Like I think a bad player. If I'm better than somebody, I don't want them to play Jinx. I don't want them to face roll me with the easy champ. I want them to play something hard. And, mm -hmm. then, uh, and then the skill difference can be more pronounced. If I'm playing against Berserker, there's not much of a difference between an amazing Jinx and just like a pretty good one. So, okay. I'll, I'll handshake a matchup. But, uh, yeah. That, that's yeah, that my makes opinion sense. about it. Even it's though that was probably one of the lowest quality games you've seen in a while, it was, it was definitely entertaining. Very entertaining. Mm -hmm. I'm totally okay with that. You need that fine balance of dog shit gameplay and entertainment. <laughs> you don't make it so bad that you're like, I'm not watching anymore, but make it spicy enough to where it's like, what the fuck is happening? Okay, wait, so the games that matter are EG games, Fly games, Golden Guardian games. The rest of them, kind of whatever now. I guess C9 and TL need to win for first place c9 versus TL versus, TL versus tsm for the grudge yeah that matters i'll be back fly c9 it's pretty important too both must wins essentially i mean it doesn't matter as much for c9 i guess but getting first seed is way better how's the fills i just named all the games low i mean i looked at the standings <laughs> Like, CLG game is worthless for them, specifically. TSM game is worthless for them. Immortals game is worthless for them. But they happen to be against people that need the win, so. And, and like, obviously I want homegrown talent to, like, like, I think Breezy is really good. I think Prismal is honestly pretty average. I don't, when I play against him, I feel nothing. Rose Thorn is potentially really good. Um, dude, I, I'm rooting for Dokla. I, I love Nisha. I love Dokla. I love Dokla. He he's, he's a really good natured guy. Yeah, he, I played with him on Optic. He's definitely was like my closest friend on the team. Super fucking chill. Yeah, he's a chill guy. He was he fucking the better fuck. Smurf this game. Wait, on Optic, he was. Oh my god, dude. He that, like he would make mistakes. He would run it down, and like yeah, yeah. W before I played with him, I thought he would be like the kind of guy that I wouldn't want to play with, just be based on his play. Yeah, like, he'll yeah. make some really fucking troll mistakes, but he actually like was super receptive to feedback. Yeah. Um, and he never really blamed people. He would just be like, "Oh yeah, like that was my bad." I don't really like Leo Volley the most. It's Shame. Both, I, I feel like Volley is really good. Mercs. I think he's really good when you need a frontline from your jungler. Yeah. That's kind of like the role he fills. There's not that many good frontline junglers at the moment. Yeah, I, I totally agree. And isn't it better to play a jungler like Xin Zhao or Jarvan or Viego when you know that the enemy team is probably going to have at least a cleanse? Like, you know that Kaisa will have cleanse, right? Because if she doesn't, she just gets 100-0'd. And yeah, then in that case... 
usually junglers that have that are not affected by cleanse can just solo kill the AD carry with red smite. And like I feel really annoyed when I have to make this choice, but it's like you made this game so easy for me. And now my my one summoner spell can counter two of your champs. Um, I'm I'm perfectly fine with that, right? There's not a lot of threat on me anymore. Well, who's gonna kill me? Um, yeah, exactly. So I, I hate that. I hate that. And I also I also hate that typically you see AP mids right with Leo. So there's even more incentive to build Merc treads because you 90% chance the Merc treads is gonna affect jungle support and mid. So I just. I just think it's really silly that people are doing this still. Yeah, I mean, oh my god, don't pick LeBlanc here. Oh god. Nine lives taken. I don't know. I don't know how EG thinks about the draft, but every time I look at their drafts, I just think like, uh, yeah, they just do something like a little differently, a little bit differently. If this you is like you need the... something with big damage, like you really need some fucking carry. Oh, I mean, Man. it's that's a okay, fucking so merc here... angle. On everybody. How can you fix the how can you fix the draft for your EG? You need to pick huge damage top lane. Gangplank. Yeah, you I'm legit thinking... need like a gangplank type champ. So just a top laner who can fucking 1v9 team fight later. They they did like a self ban with the Jace. Like they they would want to play Jace. Oh okay. Turd Nectin? Their what entire is this team early comp, game comp. Their entire team comp gets countered by Cleanse and Merc Dreads. I yeah. hate it. I hate it. Like you I don't made... like this. Every decision for the enemy team so easy to make. They needed damage from top lane. They needed. Oh damage my god, Mishif's hitting him with the vent. Holy oh, let's shit! Go. Alpha male, <laughs> alpha male. Yo, Yo let's go. If Vayne, dude, 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 if Vayne goes down. cleanse this game, top lane. Yeah, you know, I mean, uh, if he game. doesn't go cleanse, he's a fucking ape. He's trolling. He's trolling. He's trolling. Like, uh, god, EG's drafting just. <clears throat> Oh god, this matchup looks horrible. And you'll never kill him. Yep. You're just never gonna kill him. I think playing a melee into Vayne top is probably one of the worst experiences in League. Yeah. Because <laughs> it sucks early and it keeps getting worse. It's, yeah. There's no reprieve. There's never a point in time where you're like, yep, I can play now. <laughs> of all the top laners in LCS... I believe it impact the most to play this matchup well from the from the Renekton side. Hey, wait, this is actually really good warding from yeah. CLG. It, it was a clever route by Vulcan because they knew the Gromp was warded, so he actually avoided that one, but they had the secondary ward. Mm -hmm. Late game Predator with fucking cum tank is so fast. Like, you can actually just run up on anybody. Good this, warding, this warding is insane by Silji. They are playing a very thoughtful game. But will Doklas still die? I fucking hope not. Yeah. We pray. That would be a slight disaster. Very interesting that Silji's bot lane is level 3 right now. This is like, they must be 1 XP off 4 or they like fucked up somehow off screen. Ooh. Oh man. Good early drag though. Take oh, okay. They have to get wow, the Wow, they no. didn't even know that was happening. Yeah, but this is all in all kind of a disaster for inspired early game. It's just all of his plays are not finding shit, and then they just get a free dragon. Mm -hmm. Feels bad, man. Oh, solo bolo. One wow. more actually dead. Oh my oh. god. Oh. Yikes. Triple is, was getting spanked in every trade that we saw mid before this. I think JoJo should just hold this instead of push out. Maybe. Okay. Don't. Fuck it. Just push out and TP back, I guess. Max gold buy. Kind of felt like Hilarious. Ari didn't think she would be able to die there and just... Yeah. Just fucking... Yeah, he didn't up. want to blow ult. And then he was like, oh, fuck. I'm actually getting pounded. Yeah. Well played by JoJo. Just weaving back and forth. Even here, like... He was so fucking late to do anything. Yeah, he, he just, just didn't want to really press any buttons. Think. He just really, really wanted to hit the charm and not press any other buttons than that. Yeah, I think in in his defense, it it was close. Like I think the cannon beating his ass during it actually was what yeah made that a a death. Oh. Cause like it would have felt so fucking bad to ult there, but he definitely needed to. Look at top lane CS. 
he is doing so well. Like, Impact is doing so, so well in this disgusting one-sided matchup. I mean... All of EG has made an appearance top lane. I don't think it's, like, really on Impact. Like, Douglas had that's to play true. pretty fucking safe. Like, he got that's an entire true, free true. push out. I mean, that, that that's how these matchups work. Like, you just... Ooh. No condemn. Oh, now Doka dies. Oh, he's bye. dead. He's actually dead. Don't flash, Nisha. Oh, oh, such a waste. Such a such a horrible waste. I think nope. right there, Can't honestly. Thumbs, just accept you're dead. Yeah, it, it, it's so bad that he even used his cleanse. And the fact that he cleansed and then tried to outplay with flash afterwards, just, just die. Use nothing there. Yeah. Take the fucking death, because now, when you come back to lane, for the next four minutes, you don't have cleanse, you don't have flash. You're either going to have to play like a huge pussy, or you're just going to die again. And it's like... He had to okay. condemn Renekton on Renekton's little, like, trade that he went for. Yeah. But he already used. Like, he should just know there. There's no way you're living. Bully still has flash ulti. Like, well, no, just, no, yeah, like, uh, you're... The initial thing, when, like, Renekton went in and stunned. Oh my god. What the this fuck? This could be clean up for Jojo. This could be clean up for him. He's or very, very strong. Is it? Is it Renekton show? No. no, never Thank mind. <laughs> that is really a, a lot of the g good play. Fucking solo kill mid and then tr and then TP bot to trade here has been it's been really good by JoJo so far. He's got almost perfect farm too. That's, that's well. so hard to do on LeBlanc. I swear to God, that champ's hard as hell to CS on. Yeah, JoJo's pretty good at LeBlanc. Wait, is it? <clears throat> Yeah, what? Wow, is this a is this a gank angle? It I mean, feels like it's not. W is pretty None clear. of your spells can really help you last hit, and you have to trade pretty aggressively to be able to lane. You don't yeah. just set up for your W. This is this is what mm. I would consider is like a tempo trap. Like the I don't enemy think you bot normally lane set up for your W. Thinks that you had base already. And so yeah, I mean, it's super I, I, early. I like you can't. Play a lot. Uh oh, the tempo trap. I, I like this play a lot. Damn, their tempo got completely trapped there. It's like... I would, obviously, knowing that this is now a, like a more common play than it used to be, like you should always be aware that this can happen, but like sometimes you have a base up on your opponent and it's like, oh, I'm, I'm a base up, we're so fucking strong, like I'm gonna push out, right? He has to base, and you have this assumption because you're mm -hmm. base up that they're gonna base. And yeah, it's really easy to die oh yeah it comes down to like the stuff we always talk about with like conditional what the fuck? statements thorn just dies here bye bye he's trolling oh wow see clg's why alt out but not also flash out yeah pretty sure if he flashed there he could live because he could get over two walls something mm -hmm. really interesting i noticed like clg had <clears throat> well my voice cracked so i'm going through puberty clg <laughs> had a really smart early game vision setup but the second their vision wasn't there like dokla just dies to something stupid rose thorn just gets caught like they they have like really good early game fundamental and then like afterwards feels they're not really aware of what can happen dokla... oh hey man just dead. that would be so oh! fucking dope man if you had <laughs> cleanse or flash for that 1v1 that would be like pretty nice honestly Maybe there would be some way for you to have that. That sucks. That sucks. If you're getting smashed in the Vayne versus Renekton matchup like this, it feels fucking horrible. Oh, Impact's gonna yeah. die now. He's just dead. Yeah, he's... Is he? Oh, oh, oh Rose Thorn fucked Rose up. Thorn, Rose uh -oh. Thorn didn't go over the wall. No, this is definitely not a kill. Yeah. Rose Thorn just didn't go over the fucking wall. Maybe he dies anyway. Oh, actually... Yeah. No vehicle. Okay, I guess but... he does die. Huh. Yeah. I, I, I like the way Triple played that. It's pretty patient. Yeah, very patient. Very good. Man, that looks so sus with all of EG Your standing there. They no can flash, just no walk up and ulti, kill him. Ulti, Vulcan, ulti, ulti, ulti. He's dead. He's dead. Damn. Wow, you predicted that. Prismal downloaded this play. He yeah. Down How did he I'm not download that, given dude? Given he knows all their mistakes, he would still do that. <laughs> you know you know what that player reminds me of? Uh, In, like... CSGO and Valorant, sometimes you like, it's like the patience play where like, 
you're hiding in a corner and like you let the enemy team all pass before you shoot. Yeah, like, that's yeah. what that was. It's like the first guy. No, I don't want to give myself away. And then the last guy, <laughs> he yep. pulls the trigger. I love that play. I mean, it is important to remember this is like EG is even though their record isn't great and they do some sus stuff, I'd say overall they, they are still a really strong team. Um, and CLG is an academy team, so. This is true. Yeah. Oh. Oh. And he's gone. Who are they? Literally just evaporated. <laughs> <laughs> I like, know. I couldn't even see his health go down. He just died. This is the first place academy team. Yeah. Mark? I don't really know. Okay. Yeah, I think, yeah, that's why they're playing. I think typically like the best academy team is like, I would say like in the lower five of LCS, but obviously I don't think, I think the best academy team is usually better than the worst LCS team, but yeah, it's the same thing as last split when FlyQuest put their academy players in. It yeah, was also it's triple, one of those... funny enough. It's one of those really weird things where I feel like at the time that you would play, like the, the first place academy is probably going to be better than the 10th place LCS. But I feel like if that same academy team continues playing as LCS teams, they'll they'll become worse. Because like part of the advantage they have going into the it initially is like confidence, right? Because they've been winning. Yeah. But I feel like as soon as they start playing harder opponents, they're going to start faltering. And then like usually teams have like some regression when they start getting fucked because they have to figure out like what they're doing wrong, how to get better. Mm -hmm. Makes sense. I just realized that the 10th place team is TSM. Do you guys think that CLG Academy is better than TSM? I actually don't think <laughs> so. No, definitely not. Definitely not. So maybe they're actually just literally the worst if, if they were to come in. It's always interesting watching this. Sometimes it feels like uh, people are really hyping up Academy teams and players and like they would want to see them how they would perform in LCS, and it's like, I mean, uh, you don't know unless you competed in the region or that you, you like have a more realistic view about it, but like, orgs want their academy team to do well because they're cheap as hell. They want to go <laughs> with like the higher value option that has more potential. It just, yeah, also they can sell the academy players, but like, oh, oh wow. How it's, shredding! Oh, honestly, Dope is doing big damage here. Like, big damn! <laughs> oh, dude, they oh got baited by stopwatch for Nectin, man. Like, this is such a oh, banged on the wall. Wow! Holy shit! This, what champ's Danny playing? I didn't. He's playing a tank. Yeah, he's playing a tank. Damn that! It looks like this tank has pretty long range. It's weird. Cause Wait. I just saw her eat like a full combo from a, a mid laner and AD carry and not really taking damage. All I saw was Danny get hit by the last like Oh, four another Ari one! Cards. Holy shit! I mean, no I... One, Impact is really into getting kissed by Ari. So he will get charmed at some point. What if that's just like a pro player's cry for help because they're not allowed to have girlfriends, so they just have to get kissed by Ari all the time for like some form of affection. Yeah. I can it's see like it. their human needs coming out. <laughs> they're deprived. Yep. Impact needs some love. Dude, I need to watch Batman, I need to watch Dune. No, don't you watch do Dune. not need to watch don't Dune. Watch Dune. Fucking garbage. Yeah, oh, really? Watch Waste of time. It's... Trash I movie. I heard it you was like slow movies? Good. Do you like slow movies? What do you mean by slow? Slow, art, art, slow artistic. Like, like, if you like being bored, if you're having trouble sleeping, it could actually be really good. I don't like movies that are fast-paced. I think they're terrible most of the time. Oh, you might really oh, you might like, like doing that. So, so like, um, I guess, like, a slow-paced movie to me is one that spends a lot of time, like, setting the tone. Like, it, there's a lot of, like, shots of... Yeah, There's a lot I of like flashbacks. That. There's a lot of, like, scenery. There's a lot of, like camera movement artistic shots where they're kind of like moving okay, back and I don't forth. care about like art bullshit. Okay. More about story. <laughs> the story is really good. Um I guess if it, like what you said you don't like fast paced movies like like Marvel shit where it's just like bad guy, good guy, one liner, enter <laughs> Captain America, everyone just their pants. Oh my god, it's Spider-Man and then they start fighting and it's like 
Oh yeah, Spider-Man's like just... the other movie I need to watch. <laughs> yeah, me too. Wow, like, I'm getting really interested in this, in this screenplay you're, you're walking us through. This sounds good. <laughs> Spider-Man! Whoa! And like, Powder from Arcane shows up, and it's like, so bad chest. <laughs> That's incredibly bad chest. Well, I, very... <laughs> I, I actually really like that for just like, stupid entertainment. Wonderful. And I know that it's not actually like, you know, a great work of art or anything, Thanks but I'm just But Marvel movies slap, dude. Who doesn't like yeah, Marvel they movies? Do. They do. I, I'm, I'm I don't like... trust people who don't like Marvel movies. Well, Sneaky seems like, I mean, well, what, do you, what do you, do you like that? Do you like Marvel movies, Sneaky? Okay. Uh, don't know well. It's all good. I'll, uh, I'll go fuck myself. Be back. Yeah. What do you think about the draft? Um, Ezreal Alistar versus... MF Nautilus, uh, what the fuck happened bot lane? That's all I'm gonna say. Ezreal, actually, Alistair, is, that doesn't sound like a powerhouse lane. This is actually a game where Malphite kind of sucks. Um, in, in the previous game, Malphite was playing against like Graves and like a fucking Azeri. And I think a non-escape mid laner as well. But like this game, Malphite seems his job is hard. Not a lot of, not really any good targets to ult. Um... I like C I like C9's very clever comp. Very clever, very kite back. Poking, playing in bog. Black Quest is a lot more face roll. It's just like go. Not all salty. Malphite ulti. Go. Vex. Fucking press buttons. But you MF like, just like, I, I like I think C9 will win with this comp, but I think two evenly matched teams, I would rather have Fly's comp. I think they have like great playmaking ability. And I agree that Malphite's not a whole lot of value because pretty much everyone could dodge his ult. Yeah. But yeah, I, I like question. how explosive their team fight is. Like, if, you know. if everything goes evenly, how is FlyQuest going to deal with side lanes? You know, you Ezreal is a great hmm. one through one eighty carry, and the entire game, LeBlanc and Trinomir are just going to be split pushing. So, you have like your work cut out for you is like you dive mid Perfect. with Nautilus ulti point and click, and or you you try to go long on side lanes but like i think the champs that c9 have is like they're very good at buying a lot of time and being really annoying in side lanes so i don't know i like i like c9's comp i know that they don't want straight up 5v5 but i think like if you're just if you put all 10 champs in an a ram fly's gonna win if you put all 10 champs on summoner's drift i think c9's gonna win based on draft mm. but like I do like I do like low execution comps, and I think FlyQuest definitely has that. I mean, like C9, they have very little CC. Yeah, like Alistair LeBlanc's are only real CC, and neither one's too reliable. Yeah. Dude, I feel like Fly is just doing the full like respect draft, just like yeah, you guys are fucking better than us. We're playing the easy shit. Don't hurt me. Yeah, actually, <clears throat> I feel like I saw an MF game. Is either this a real dive? Uh, doesn't look like it. No, wait, this is a dive. I wow. really don't like that Takui TP there. Wow. <clears throat> this is a dive, actually. Makes sense. Malphite counters all of Summit's champs. Like, it feels yep. like Jace, Graves, and Trindamir is what he wants to play. How and... funny would it be if C9 just had to start banning Malphite just so Summit can play the game because everybody's just fucking terrified and picks Malphite against him? Yeah. Kind of like what you were I... saying about like the, the fucking Jinx matchup. It's like yeah, it's hard like, to be don't, punished. Don't give people the easy way out, you know? I, I think another way to neutralize Summit would be to play some shit like Scion. I almost oh. never see Scion getting shit on in lane. Berserker has Flash. He's probably okay. Oh! Gone. Oh, never mind. He's not very gone. not okay. Gone. Damn. Oh, wow. D9 doing dragon during this. That's... And it's just a flip. Unlucky. Like, it's not even really a good dragon timing for this, them. This looks good for Fly. Yeah, I'm they're back. gonna... Oh. Where the fuck did you go, Sneaky? Yeah, where did you my go? Coffee. Oh. Mr. Coffee. You didn't say anything. You just disappeared. I did say you were back, but... No, you didn't. It was pretty Wrong. quick. Nope. Okay. All right, shit. It ends up fucking himself even harder. It's uh, weird. I, like, here, here, you'll see. It's like, walk in a straight line and just flash. Oh, yeah, right? you're right. Like, you react to the hook. Huh. Damn. You got that was pretty weird that slapped. he was doing that. Yeah. Dude. Maybe he was 
thinking his team could come down and help him? No, 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 no way. His team's not dragging. No way he thinks that. Oh my I god. Mean, I, I feel like I I usually prefer peeling off objectives to help a lane fight if some shit like that happens. That's fair. His team should three man just get off the fucking the damn objective and go. Wow. Mm. Or he like, you know Died. He he should do the better escape route if oh. the team can just finish. Oh wow. Oh what? that was the most damage red smite. Ever. Wow, red, buff, red, red smite is so nasty, man. That was a straight up fucking ignite. Yeah, it's like fucking 200 damage burning. Constantly taking red buff and reapplying red smite. Ezreal is going a very fucking interesting build. Um, so what is the... Can someone explain what the ruby crystal builds oh. into? Oh my. Ooh, goodbye, Afro. The ruby crystal. Let's Who? see here. Which ruby? Ezreal's ruby crystal. What does the ruby crystal build into? Oh. I mean, if, I, if there wasn't a crit cloak, I would say it could be a Sunderer. So maybe it's Crown? That's what my chat's saying. You, you know that it's not Sunder. He has a crit cloak. It's, Wait, that'd be yeah, so fucking troll. Yeah, it's definitely troll. building you know, you definitely know it's not he has, Sunder or Trinity Force. Because he doesn't he have has boots a either. Crit cloak. Yeah. Like, he doesn't have free boots, so he could have bought boot instead of that piece it's, of shit. I, I can't imagine it's going to be his, for, in his first or second item. Yeah. I'm going to just assume that it was like a misclick, or he's like really early buying a Ruby Crystal for Crown later. What? What if he didn't want to buy the crit cloak? Yeah, maybe he missed like crit cloak. I mean, I don't even think it's like the worst thing to just get extra health when you're against some shit like Nautilus MF. Maybe he just feels like yeah, he's more comfortable mm -hmm. having like extra HP to not be in one shot range because he doesn't have a door or anything. That's pretty fucking not real logic though for AD carry. What if he's not actually going man? I mean, what if he's going Fimble Winter like the tank tier item? Does that take a ruby? Probably does, right? Yeah, it's Kindle Jim. I... Yes, he's not going. He's not going Fimble and Terrestrial. We gotta take some bets right now. Oh, it, it would be better than buying a random ruby because he had a purpose, just a shit purpose. You think buying a Fimble Winter is better than just a ruby? There's no fucking way. No, sneaky, you're trolling, man. It's like having a long sword. You're in like, inventory. yeah, I'd rather waste long fucking sword, three thousand like, gold instead dude, of four hundred. A it's long like... sword is the same as a ruby crystal in terms of value. It's just the base value of those stats. I think, I think having some HP is fine. Like, no. Would you, would, no. you, would you do it? No, it's not good. Well, would you no, buy a random ruby? It. But it's not the same shit as like buying something that's like legit useless. Oh wait, Tokui. Oh. Wait, why doesn't he just kill the clone? That's twenty-five gold and some XP. True. Loggers. You're, you're right. If the if the ruby, that's why I'm trying to mental gymnastics myself into figuring out what the hell he's building because. Yeah. It's, it only makes sense if you're not sitting on the Ruby Crystal, but if you're building it into an item later. That's the only way oh, it can make oh, sense. He sold, he sold it. He sold it. Fuck! I knew it was a misclick. <laughs> I fucking hate you guys. I fucking hate you guys. I knew it was a misclick from day one. I guess there's no Fimble winner. You fucking... Thank God. I mean, I, he was, he's fucking griefing. That's all I know. <laughs> it's like, there's no way he did it on purpose. Yeah. Thank God. Stay mad, Sneaky. You got owned. Good. I'm Epically happy coned. he's not griefing. It's not a Fimble Winter. You're completely wrong. <clears throat> in, in, uh, I would have been like... so upset if he was he held it until third item and he went crown third. I yeah. would have also been upset if he was going Fimble. I don't yeah. That would any be other option. so unbelievably trash on Ezreal. Like you, you legit can't proc the shield. Yeah. Is this game just completely over already? GG. Uh, what are you- wait, what are you saying? It's just the game completely is, done. The game is... Very Why even. Why is it at two bro. drags? That's pretty GG. Oh. Why is Winsome inting? That's pretty GG. Oh. Wait. <laughs> what the oh, fuck? No. You fucking... <laughs> <laughs> what? No what? Way.
That was not a real fucking alt, bro. Was it Viego That dude had range? no flash. He was going nowhere. You did that to pad your own stats. What if he needs it to that's win fucking, top lane? That's a tilter. If if my top laner ults like that, I swear to God, I'm just running it down mid the rest <laughs> of the game. Okay, Tyler one. Relax, dude. <laughs> yep, someone's got to do it. Someone's got to teach him a fucking lesson. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, no! I'm getting killed without my ult! Oh, no! Will he have to flash? Ooh. Wait, is he still dead? I think so, yeah. Man. There was oh. nothing he could have deserved. Deserved. Kumo, <laughs> you fucking idiot. That's actually a deserved moment. <laughs> yeah. That is... Yeah. Unbelievable. <laughs> yeah. Holy shit, Straight Kumo. Up. That's fucking dirty. Gunky. I'm oh. Oh. Counting. Ooh, oh, wow. Man. Nice shot. When you're playing against enemy bot lanes and it's like, wow, they have core. This is just not fair. Or like, when I was playing with Ole, Ole was actually fucking good. Hmm. Did you feel that? Here? Oh my he, god! No, Nautilus, right there, Nautilus hooked him, and it like pushed him right out of Jose's ulti. I don't think it would have killed, but that happens a lot. Hey, great oh, macro flag miss. I guess Baron's gone. Hold up, Johnson has all. Holy oh, shit! Oh, oh! Oh, wait. Wow, MF We had to it. smite to not die, and then the MF oh, gets the Baron. Oh my god. Wow. Hate to see that. MF is That's too unlucky. broken, guys. MF is too broken. Holy Dude, shit. he's actually doing the fucking Zaya build, except he has Comet instead of Aerie. Yeah, I think Wait, this is, see, I can get cleaned really up here. Good. Hold up. Yeah. Like I said, guys. Win some? Oh, there's still a tier one tower. You know, I. Tier I don't want to be like. actually lose. I don't want to be like that guy or anything, but like, what the fuck is Winsome doing when they're doing Baron Foreman? Like, why is he hitting the fucking Baron? Why is he? Why is he just not just zoning everyone away? Like, I have to see it again. Let's see it. Can we just watch this again? Like, where is? Okay, oh, he's, he's not even he's here not yet. Yeah. He's not here yet. But like, he's not close either. He can't do anything actually. It's just it's just fucked because Malphite, Malphite MF is actually like Bronze Zodia. <laughs> it <Yeah>. really is. <laughs> it's just it's I just mean, Bronze Zodia. Dude, I actually can appreciate Fly's approach to this game. You recognize your opponents are just, like, way fucking better mechanically, so you just hit them with the, like, can't outplay this combo. Yeah. They do have, like, all zero skill champions with, like, point-and-click abilities. Um, I guess Viego's not that way, but he's, he's honestly pretty easy as well. Yeah, Viego's not our champ at all. He just looks flashy when he's, like, resetting and taking everybody. Yeah. Don't think there are many like high level mechanics you can do on Viego. Oh, oh we I have to play you're... twenty different champs. Oh, that's still hard. Yeah. Never Al Alistair comboed before? Well now you have to learn how how to. Oh dude, it's it's not easy pressing W and Q. Mm. It really isn't, I guess. But it's just the fact, like, usually as Viego, when you're taking over other champs, it's, like, just clean up, right? Like, the other team's out yeah. of fucking abilities. Like, you're just Eight killing kills. everyone. You it look cool doing it. It not matter if you land them, because you just are out anyway. Yeah. It's not like you're fucking turning into their engaged champ at the start of the fight and, like, finding a good engage. Oh. Oh. Uh, Johnson? Yo. Oh, oh that Ezreal ult. Did you see him it's flash? Like third dragon for Fly Fam. And like we the were saying earlier, grim, this game guys. is looking pretty much completely over. The only saving grace is that Summit has like 13 CS per minute. So maybe after he's done flame harassing Malphite, he can like get into a team fight and like just beat everyone's ass. I think MF is honestly pretty horrible against Trind. Yeah. This, this game matters too for C9 because DL wins, they get first if they lose here. I like Winsome's new nickname, Win Trade. Mm -hmm. Win trade. What about Lusum? Like yeah, was, way better. I've only heard Lusum. <laughs> Lusum's good. We can alternate between Lusum and Win Trade. The guy's kind of lost in the sauce. <laughs> he has the most fucking stack team. Yeah, it is. All he has to do is not pick Alistair. <laughs> 
I mean, he's Alistar actually is... zazeling the team right now, mm -hmm. picking fucking Alistair on C9. Zazel or Alistair only. Oh my god. I mean, isn't that a Zazel thing to do? Just like pick Alistair when he wasn't viable whatsoever, and then just yeah. be playing a fucking sus tier champ. Alistair's not that bad though. I mean, it's I don't think he's it's just terrible, Ezreal, but Ezreal Alistar is horrible. Like you don't have any kill potential or combo ability and like you also just are never able to manage the wave um usually ezreal plays with champs that can like help him control the wave so important true they definitely don't do shit together yeah and i still just kind of self-sustaining bot lanes for a long time that this is just the shittiest lane it's, you can play yeah it's it's really bad the only thing is, like, if you leave as alone, he just farms, and then Alistair roams. That's, like, the only yeah. redeeming factor. But then, like, they're not a lane. No, <laughs> it's not a lane. As, as real solo bottom. Yeah, I mean, helicopter. That's, that's actually the only way it's good. Fucking just play Braum next time, man. Stand there and auto-attack people. Oh, dude, if he Lock played Braum, this game would be over. I don't know if it would be over, but, like, he wouldn't yeah. be this useless. Um... He cocks as, MF's whole ult. As it is right now, it's like he goes in and what happens? Uh, everyone on the team just wants to play like a very slow, very like considered fight. Ezreal Braum is just such a classic, bro. You just, you it pick is. Ezreal Braum, you, and you invade, invade enemy their blue. bottom side. Yep. You fucking, they, their bot lane never gets to play. If they try to go aggro, you get exhausted with a jungler showing up. Yeah. And then you stack dragons, and then you win. It's... <laughs> Wow, it's so easy. The Holy most shit. fucking dude. I mean, it's it's pretty close to that. A lot of times, like the game is really centered around items and runes more than champions. It's like the ch the champs that are good. Obviously, there's some good champs that are independent of like which items are good. But like this Ezreal build, for example, it's the same build that Zaya goes, and so you have oh. to oh wait, Johnson has no flash, no flash, no flash. Holy shit, you think that flash that he wasted earlier and mattered? He's gone. Oh, wow. Summit wait, is wait, actually did he waste his flash? I don't even remember. I mentioned it. I got Dona walled, but it's when <laughs> fucking... Remember when Takui took that random ult in on Lee? Uh -huh. Mid? Yeah. No. When Johnson just like, flashed in and was so far out of range and just oh. did nothing. Mm. And they didn't even kill Lee. Yeah, it wasn't even close. Like, MF was still yeah. not even close when he flashed. Yeah. Interesting. Shit his pants. Um, yeah. It, the it's, Flame Horizon has been complete. It's over now. It's pretty similar to what Kumo did, where it's like, it's one thing to waste your ability. It's another thing to fucking play like you still have it after wasting it. Yeah. This yeah. was kind of a nice catch by Fudge, though. Yeah, that was sick. The timing is so interesting. Like FlyQuest is almost all there, but they're not quite there. So there's like a two second move. That's that's how you play comps like this. Like when they're out of formation, you take like a staggered fight where it's like a 3v3 or a 3v2. And then everyone is just not quite in range to help their teammate. And then you peel out if you don't get the kill. But there, they, obviously they get the kill. And, and like, yeah. this is how you play a tricky comp like this. You, you never take like a straight 5v5 engagement. You're always taking like little tiny fights like this. This is great by Fudge. Like you just, that's why I think C9's comps is, is, is high Ooh. skill, but it is a little better. Oh. Oh, wait. Takui wasted his all. Ooh. Ooh. He, Ooh. This is, this is exactly it. Like, no one on no one on FlyQuest is hitting oh. anybody. Oh, now they are. Now they are. Blabber. Oh. Sprinting it. Oh. Summit's Summit C9? the kill? Probably oh doesn't want to be my. chasing here. Oh. oh. My God. Wait. Johnson. Wait. Johnson. What? Johnson. Johnson. Oh. Oh! oh my god, they're gonna get yeah, they're gonna I, get Ocean Soul off that. They're gonna get Ocean Soul that off was, that. Uh, that was C9 doing what you were basically saying that not to do. Like They should go for the fast play, they should kite out. They got Takui to waste ult, but then they just need to back off to Dragon. Like, they are a kite comp, but they, they ran in. Yeah, Blabber completely blew it. Like, watch how the fight starts. Great. No damage trade from FlyQuest. How much damage FlyQuest done? Essentially zero. Go on Alistar, waste his ulti, great. Damage trade, super amazing. Now watch Blabber. He 
They're getting chased. They're doing a bunch of damage. 23. And he just wants mm. to go in for no reason. He basically dies without doing anything. It was yeah, so there, bad. there was it really also, no reason to do that. It baits Summit to go in too, which is like extra terrible because he's like, oh fuck, my jungler just got like five abilities out of the way. Now I have to go in too. And then Summit dies. He's the guy who like you need to stay alive in the fight to carry it. And like, oh my god, that's fucking tragic, man. Johnson trolled the end of that. Yeah, I'm, I mean, it, it was definitely bad on Blabber. I don't. I don't know if I'd say, like, he mind control this whole team to have to keep going in, because I think they definitely just need to peel back once they realize that, like, Fly is out. Yeah, it, it, it's almost a mind control, right? Like, when he takes that Q, he's not doing it without comms. He's saying, like, yeah. look, look Vex, look Vex, right? Like, every Lee Sin player right there is calling, like, I'm going to kick somebody in. And I'm that is counting. that excitement is, is baiting other people to just, like, kind of, like, play more aggressive than they normally would there. Everyone else is playing slow. He's playing too fast. Mm-hmm. And that sucks because the the payoff for fly quest is so insane. I feel like most of the time on Lee Sin in team fights, like you don't even need to do anything super fancy. You can just kind of like sit around, fucking shielding people. Yeah. Hitting the the people who go in. Perfect. And like yeah. you can have the, you can look for a kick if it's free, but a lot of times I think a mistake is trying to force it too hard. Like feeling you know, like you need to get the fucking insect or the game will be lost. Yeah, I, I think he probably doesn't know that making 9 out of 10 plays is better. That's a good point. Regardless of all of this, like, when you when you lose soul, I think, like, a... Oh, hold that thought. Afro's getting caught with no flash, and Fudge oh. gets that. Oh, dies oh. instantly. Oh. Fucking intimate fault, dude. Yeah, eating alive. Yeah. Wait, oh, it's actually God. just... Game. It's just game. It's game now. It's uh, game. Oh, do it. Do it. It'd be it. the worst idea, but do it, pussy. Take it. Nah. <laughs> it's not Damn, game. Dude. I don't know if they can literally end it. They maybe could, uh, but wait. Actually, somebody's not nowhere here. Near. Yeah, to me, if, 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 um, what's nah, his face is here, if uh, Jose Deodo was here, I think this is an end. Malphite can just. Malphite can just face tank Ezreal, straight up. There's no way they can end but, here now, though, yeah. Yeah, too late now. So, when an enemy team gets soul in solo queue, you just spam FF and you get ready to report your teammates. When a team gets soul in competitive, a good team is looking for winning a fight at the Elder, because Elder is way, way better than any soul. Um, and, like... Even if you have like a 30% chance of winning that fight, mm. that fight has such a huge payoff compared to any other fight. Like, if FlyQuest gets wiped right now, they get Baron, that's good. But if they get wiped in one minute on a team fight, or if they get outplayed by Macro, you know, like a a Steel or a Whoa. 4v3 on a... Oh, Ooh, wait. I kind of like this. Yeah, when some is... The? Oh, he actually wasn't in range for the Nautilus R. Yeah, that's... That's interesting. They're Never going for That was a nice angle by Takui. Like, it didn't really feel like Winsome was overextended, but just the fact that he's a fucking Alistair who can't really dodge the Vex ult, it's yeah. enough to get Alistair's cooldowns. Effort, push sleeper. Effort, push just, sleeper. I'll just TP. No way. I actually, I actually don't like this. I think I think of the best play that C9 can make Wow, is... wait. Someone's getting fucked. Like, yeah, he's actually he's, doing no damage. He is fucked. He's fucked. He's just he's dead. Just dead. He can't move. He can't move. That was sus. I... Don't think that was the best play Summit could have gone for. Yeah, and at the end of the day, it doesn't matter. The enemy team was going to get this Baron anyways, and Summit is up for the Elder, so it's a, obviously not his best play, but like, this was FlyQuest's Baron, and they're just collecting the thing they would have collected anyways. Maybe the better play here, if I was FlyQuest, is to try to push that advantage and take mid and hip and then back up for Eld, back up for Baron, because in the end they get this kill and it doesn't feel like they got enough off of it, but. I think definitely been, Baron there. It would have been pretty hard to get mid to first. Really? Yeah, maybe maybe it would be hard. I don't know. Alistair had I, no ulti. Um, I didn't really see the wave. A, I can double check. on the wave. Actually, no. Nah, I think Baron's just way more valuable going into the, like even if you push mid and you get mid, like you're not gonna be able to Baron afterwards. And then, I would rather have Baron before an Elder fight than a mid inhibitor. This could get spicy here. 
Oh, yeah. Oh, 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 Berserker oh, just dies. Oh, Berserker just dies. Oh my just dies. God. Oh. Dude, Summit's doing nothing to Jose. Yeah. Yeah. Ocean yeah. Soul is so broken, by the way. A, tr a full six item Trinomir is actually losing that fight against Viego, who's like four items, I guess. It's just because of Soul. <laughs> oh, oh Summit was going for the Baron. Oh, or the Elder oh, Jesus. That would have been funny if that worked. Yeah, wow. GG. Blabber through the game. Let's be real here. They won that fight and they I think the draft all. was pretty dog from C9, to be honest. Damn. They, they, they didn't play it well. Is it the Malphite Ego Ben that Doublelift was saying? Ego Ben, yes. They should. <laughs> Malphite's just too strong. So, see, TL he does can... too much without being punishable. Yeah. I think it's right. I think, um, especially in this kind of thing where like Summit will gap you, like if you're giving him a champ that doesn't really care about getting gapped, it's actually such an advantage for the other team. Mm -hmm. What did you say about Berserker? You would make him look like shit if you played against him. <laughs> I mean, if Johnson can do it, I think if uh, Johnson I think can, can do, do it, it, he can do it, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, after this ad break, I want to ask you guys about this Jason R thing. It's pretty <laughs> fucking funny. I guess Jason R in in league terms would be the equivalent of like a Tarzan in terms of size and like recognizability. Like he's respected as a good player, right? It's like you, if you but get he's like Jason super R. Toxic. Um, he's well. Yeah, now, now it's obviously coming. I didn't follow him super closely, but I knew that he was a really big CSGO player. He was one of the only people who's like still streaming CSGO every, you know, consistently when it was like kind of dead. And then he switched to Valorant. But yeah, uh -huh. it's, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait until my fucking commercial is done playing, but it's pretty, it's pretty interesting. The full context is that, um, he, can't, like, he got kind of exposed recently that any time that there's a girl in his Valorant lobby, he'll dodge and say that his internet cut out uh, or some other reason why he wants to dodge. And he'll always mute any female streamers, or sorry, any female players in his games <laughs> so he doesn't have to hear their what voice. The he'll fuck? also, he also like said shit like every girl on Twitch is a little fucking hoe and got banned for it like years, a couple years ago. And and like there's, there's a whole bunch of other stuff. Like he bans. Or it's either him or his wife who bans every one of his female subs. So if you have like a feminine name, or if if you if it turns out that you are a girl in his chat, he'll just ban you just for being a girl. Viewers, yeah, viewers. Huh. All right, all right. Lena wants to. <laughs> Lena wants to fucking is, get added to the chat. Is there even anything besides he's being dumb as shit? Oh, uh. Yo. No. Yeah. Like Yo. so. 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 And his justification for it is that at first he's like. I'm not a sexist. I have a wife. And wait, wait, you forgot, <laughs> you forgot some other things that he said. He also said that women shouldn't play video games. Women shouldn't play Valorant. These are so fucking dumb. What's wrong with this guy? Really? Like, <laughs> yeah, he says this live say on stream. Seriously. Yeah, I, I can't believe he's, he would say this shit on stream. Like, it, the only way I could possibly see someone quoting that is if you're trying to, like, roleplay being a fucking dumbass. Like, I just can't <laughs> see someone saying that unironically. Yeah, it, no, yeah, and his real. so he starts blaming or not blaming, but he starts excusing his behavior by saying that he's trying to be respectful to his wife. He doesn't want to interact with other women because he's trying to respect his marriage. Mm -hmm. And then he, you know, goes online and likes fucking photos of you know booba photos, basically, <laughs> because that's very very respectful to his <laughs> wife. You know, wasn't and, that similar to like the ninja thing, where he wouldn't play with girls? Yeah, yeah. but the the. Thing is, people did call Ninja for out for that, but Ninja didn't go on stream and say all women are hoes, all Twitch viewers are hoes. Like they didn't ban a bunch of viewers on, you know, Ninja's chat just for having like a feminine name. Uh huh. Like uh, I think one of the cases that first started this was a couple years ago when one of his subs hit twenty month subbed and there was like a notification and she was, you know, a girl, a clearly like a girl's username, and then she just got banned. <laughs> hmm. That's so, so crazy. messed up. Yeah. Is his, is his wife like from Twitch uh, as well or something? Like, why does she just 
Here, let me send you guys chat for log. girls online. Let me send you the chat log. I got all the. His wife is definitely either just a like completely on his side in in that way, or like maybe even the source of like the way he, way he thinks. Because like it seems like their marriage has like some super deep insecurity. Because she just like she I just sent hates you, other girls. I sent you some of the chat logs from his Twitch chat from his wife. This is like public information. You guys can pull it up if you want. Like just the way that his wife talks about other women is so like fucked up and she's like in his chat shit talking other female streamers you could just like read it mm. I, I think that whole belief of like treating people in a game differently based on something that has nothing to do with the game like was the same thing uh, kind of like what double tweeted about like you know based on if you're discriminating based on how like someone looks like their skin color hum like sexuality whatever uh i feel like that shit just shouldn't matter online like who gives a shit You're just yeah. gaming yeah, it has nothing yeah. to do with anything yeah i dude it would be so i feel like league is so long overdue for like some streamer to come out as like a closeted racist or like turbo sexist or just like some overdue. terrible person. When you say long overdue, <laughs> I'm really what? curious about what you mean by that. I, well, I just mean that League attracts like some of the most toxic people ever. And I I'm, mean, Thorn exists, so. That's true. But Thorn is like also, he like he like scrammed back to CSGO, his little CSGO corner. Is that not something you can get banned for? Like, yeah, that's that, what I'm that wondering. You, I, I feel like that's banned. Can bannable. you get banned for being like this? I, I think oh, so. I, d I definitely think you should on Twitch. Like, that, That's at least a temp ban in my eyes. Yeah. yeah, I really wish, like, I don't know, gaming companies and Twitch and stuff would definitely give harsher punishment to people who still do that kind of shit. Who is that? I don't know. Who is this? Uh, I'm yeah, assuming some Academy person. We'll find out soon. <laughs> Diamond. <laughs> That's not, that's, fucking that's, diamond. Diamond. that's not fucking Diamond. That's not fucking Diamond. I mean, Diamond has a beard. <laughs> Oh, that's Chad. His name's Chad. Wait, is he that jungle Chad guy? Oh, it's Chad Jungle. Oh shit! Wow. Wait, wait, really? That's Chad Jungle. Dude, that guy. Act that guy used to hang out in my chat a lot. Wait, wait, was he nice in your chat or was he like a weirdo? Yeah, it's it fun. It, I mean, he he's high elo, so like he added me on League and just occasionally messaged me. <laughs> that is so funny. Now the last thing about the Jason R thing is just that uh. His, like, justification for it was, like, so fucking troll. He said, like, how am I being a sexist or a misogynist? Um, I don't say anything to the girl. I just don't interact with them at all. It's like, yeah. he thinks that, like, by ignoring them and, like, putting them on mute instantly, like, that is, like, that is, like, how he can justify it's, that he's it... not a bad person. It's so not like that action yeah. in itself is the action that's like not okay. Yeah. Like if it, it was some person silly. specifically that like pissed you off or like you have some in bad interaction with, it makes sense. But it's like your girl, bam, muted. Like that's just legit yeah. super fucked. Chad is playing Lee Sin. Insta first pick me Lee. Let's go. That's a statement right there. And he's picking at the same time. So he could have picked it. No, he's actually R2, and Leeson was picked on R1. That is true. Yo, hey, guys, little little question here. Is Aphelius' first pick a real pick? Yeah, when well, Jinx and R are banned. That's what I was saying about the Jinx thing. Like, like what happens after you ban Jinx? Like, do you have to match Ben? Well, there's or... also Zeri, so it's like the top two are out. Yeah. I mean, yeah, like... Usually the prior goes like Jinx greater than Zeri, and then afterwards Sai is up or something. A, a free for all for whatever people want. Yeah, Kaisa Saya, maybe Aphelios, but like Aphelios has been going through every single draft. I don't. Kaisa's feel like pretty it. fucking butthole. I'm surprised people are even trying her. <laughs> yeah. Having too much fun in solo queue and ARAM. That's what I love about like knee-jerk reactions is like it's sometimes it's really satisfying to see people's like overreaction like oh my god can't believe ap guys is allowed to exist what a disgusting champion can't believe right 200 years of it's like dude do you like play the game do you watch the game like yeah ap guys so it was a thing because faker picked a mid 
for four yeah. days. And then afterwards, no one's playing Kaisa mid. You, have, have you seen Kaisa mid since then? Have you seen a lot of Kaisas popping up in competitive since then? It's like such a niche pick. And like, obviously the funny thing is to do for, for maximum upvotes is like, right, so shit at balancing the game. Can't believe they didn't realize AP Kaisa is the most giga broken thing. Like, no, I think you should just let pro players figure it out. You know, I think you should let the game play out. Yeah. Uh, eventually people will find how to play against it and we'll settle I on whether or not it's like a lot of people are so bad at dodging her w as well dude i mm. know if, i was gonna if say you just that. pay attention to kaisa yeah. and you're thinking about her w it's like a fucking nidalee spear like yeah if you're cc'd sure you, she can hit it but she should Two not down. just be like chain nuking your entire team to one hp before an objective with naked w's like you're just straight trolling you feel that happen yeah yeah the, the thing is too if she misses it it's such a fat downtime for her next yeah. one. Her, her risk to reward ratio on her W is actually fucked in an all-in fight. Obviously, if you're ARAM for two minutes, no no risk, all reward. Big fight happens, you miss one W, your champ doesn't do damage anymore. Yeah. It's a tense, it's an eight second cooldown, so you can shoot another one. Or she like misses and then you yeah, get it's... some fight to start. Just actually yeah, even if somebody just flashes it, I feel like any champion who has some like big part of their kit that's just flashable and the whole thing is fucked, like is just so weak in competitive play, like against good players. Yeah. Yeah. It's Draven Doing boys. It. Oh, he's got balls. Finally, time to figure out my theory. Is Draven actually a decent pick? Because Draven does pretty much shit on Aphelios. It's not the best champ against top Kench. I think Draven struggles against supports that can survive a couple of his autos. He kind of runs out of steam after his first few autos. Yeah, I want Draven to be the best AD carry. They need to change him. Yeah, you've always been a Draven player. <sighs> I, I just want to see a time where he's oh, like please. actually be good. Right. One sec. Yeah. I think him just being the axe guy totally works. Doesn't yeah. need to be the fucking lose all your gold guy. That's fair. That's fair. Uh oh, Chad is gone. No. Wasted flash. Not a good look. Uh oh, You're fucking dead. Chad. Uh oh, Chad. Damn. Oof. Unlucky. No, Chad. Why? My dude, you got you got crabbed and then I'm confused. I'm confused what he did. So he thought he could double crab Volibear, one of the strongest early game junglers. Volibear. Yeah, I mean, I, so I imagine the logic here is like he has a lot of prio mid, so he can just you know get the crab control around mid, play with LeBlanc, which it is true, but like he didn't actually have LeBlanc here for the play yeah just the timing on it didn't work i think the overall idea wasn't bad it's a normal looking play you'd go for but just they didn't time it well i see i see fucking i don't know Pee oh pewee root off that flash it oh no 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 no! you don't have mana to finish the kill never mind don't flash also it. w to get over the wall so you yeah. have no damage true true no damage i think you just don't want to spend your time there because <laughs> He doesn't have a smite. Like, Prize Talker literally just gonna walk up, fucking steal the camp in front of your face, anyways. So, if he doesn't have smite, then it, it's pretty weird to look for the crab like that. He definitely should probably just start oh. with a gank. Oh, yeah. wait, or even die here. Hook. Oh, Destiny. Can he? Fa Destiny failed his his flash hook. No, he hit him. Oh, Did he's he dead too. Him? I don't. Yeah, he, he, he hit, hit the, the hook. Minion. He flashed to the side and hooked him. No, I think I, think, I, don't, it, I think it hit the minion. It glitched on a minion, yeah, it glitched on a minion. And that was pretty unlucky. It, it I'm was... gonna look at it again. I'm pretty sure it hit him. Yeah, check. I don't know. Oh my god. This Wait game a second. looking completely turbo over. Wait, what the fuck happened? Maybe it did hit a minion, actually. It was a yeah. lot of damage. Maybe it was just LeBlanc, though. Yeah, yeah it, it was hit really a minion. hard to tell. He did? I think yeah. it hit the melee minion. Yeah, it Because that thing moved. But no, but this game is. Getting oh. fucked over from top side. Oh, they're Can gonna replay it right here. I like his idea. I really do. He just yeah, tried to auto. Okay. He tried to auto before instead of just go for the hook right away. That's what ended up killing Poe. But 
All in all, it's just a top jungle div. That is like this. here waiting for the counter and they just do it in his face. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I like that they pulled the trigger on this play because Volley's six. Um, yeah, for sure. I mean, Renekton think... Volley level six is this is the, the fucking gross. dive squad. Yeah, it really is. And it's the quick stun squad. Oh my god. I think Immortals has one hope, which is just... Now now just play the bot lane. Um, that's that's all you can do. They're going for oh the... Oh. Dude, okay, you know, the, the only... Herald swap. The Yo, only thing we'll what, say... what is it about Aphelios that mind controls people into leaving him alone against the tower? I see this shit every other game with Aphelios, and it never makes sense. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. I have no idea. This is... So bad. And he uh, always like, has the red white guns for you, it. I don't hate their play because if they were to leave the game state exactly as it was and let lane play out, their top laner cannot farm for the rest of the game, and their jungle has just got his hands tied. So even though I I don't like that they that they did this, this is the one of the only ways to make the game weird for the enemy team. Otherwise, they're just gonna keep snowballing. Uh -huh. Like they ended up yeah. they ended up with heralds. So maybe now there will be some chance where like. They herald five plates and then, I don't know, get a split map situation, get a dive off. Something different happens than just losing. Yeah, I, I, I definitely agree with that part. Uh-oh. I guess my question is, uh -oh. is there a way to do this oh. without Ooh. giving Aphelios a million plates? Oh, if they uh -oh. give Arrow this kill, it's actually yeah. nasty. I don't that know would be insane. get it. No, you if can, you can. takes this, yeah, I'm yeah. so tilted. Let He's him got have this. It. He's got it. He's got oh. it. Come on. Ooh. Yeah. That's, that's that's what I'm talking about, guys. Dude, I was going to say the only thing Split that map. is actually like a decent change to work with the Draven passive is the old thing they did. Where like mm -hmm. it does it'll do the like, execute based on your stacks. Yeah. That was cool. And like yeah, I, I think there's a humongous downside to their play because Aphelios, even though Draven cashed in and got a shutdown, he's actually still down in gold compared to Aphelios because Aphelios just gets like 1,400 gold from a turret. But like, I do like that at least in this new game state that just happened, Gwen was actually able to farm a little bit. Like, she doesn't get dove every two seconds. Um, mm -hmm. I wonder, I wonder if Arrow calls that because that's actually a like. Something that new players kind of struggle with is like what to do, how to get creative in like these situations. Getting having your top lane get shit on really hard or your bot lane getting shit on really hard is not new to players who played for a long time. You you, you know that like one of the ways you can break the situation is by swapping. I yeah. wonder if I wonder if Arrow actually just called it like fuck it, I'm gonna send I, it I, on top side, let's do Arrow. I would not be surprised. Arrow definitely like when I played with him, he likes making these kind of plays where you just move around a lot. Yeah. Creative. Yeah. I, I like those a lot as well. I think uh, it's almost like the default league player mindset is not to do that because it's like, you know, if, if the other side's losing and you're winning, you'll be like, dude, like everyone should just come to my lane, like yes. get me ahead. But sometimes that's not possible. Sometimes the best thing for you to do is you just move and make something else happen. Yeah. Definitely. That a... takes a certainly large cock to see the angle. Oh, oh wait. Bully is killing himself. Wait, Bully's just in there? What? Oh. Why did he ult in like that was a commit? That's so strange. I think he just says underestimated uh, Draven's damage. Oh. Does does anyone know if Pride Soccer plays Bully in solo queue? I'm curious if it's <laughs> one of the cases of him being like, Bully's so fucking easy, I'm never going to practice him. I don't know what assume it is, but his Bully is a little sus. I've only seen this game. Like, I don't even know if it's us. You played another game he's, with He's that? played it before. I mean, a lot of LCS bullies have been sus. Hmm. What are we thinking about this Draven build? Is he going to Felios build? Just Gale BT? Uh, I think it's I, a little better than Shield Bow, but like... He had the on the game since like, like on level 5. Oh, really? That's true. That's yeah. True. He's, he's definitely going Gale BT. Gale. I think I think it's all situational. 
Heal Force feels really bad when you're not ahead of the curve because it feels like it does the worst damage. Um, but like, I think when you're snowballing, Gale Force lets you snowball harder than you normally would be able to. Arrow? Um, arrow, flash, out, okay. Not the that best was use such of... a troll use of summoners. Some... Yeah, not the best use. He just blew use. every fucking cooldown to stop a recall. Yep. Yeah. I think, uh, uh, like, looking at the state of the game now, Gwen went from being 40 CS down and very, very fucked in, in her lane to f farming okay, closing it up. Arrow did a huge sacrifice play where he was, he was willing to let the enemy AD carry get really ahead of him. To save his top laner, but maybe yeah. Immortals has a decent chance now. And because he got the shutdown in stacks, it's actually like not a huge gold deficit or anything like that. How long has Revenge been freezing? By the way, he has a blasting one. That's it. Uh, he must have been freezing this for a year. What the fuck? Now he's finally even up in levels, and after this, his farm will be pretty much even as well. But I wonder. Ultimately, is he really if... sitting on that much unspent? I mean, yeah, look at his look... items, dude. He has nothing. Yeah. D does he? Ha isn't he just poor? No, dude. He can't be that CS. poor. Yeah, with a blasting one as his only real item. He's, his he's jungler got, like, is seventy-four, and his jungler has a whole item. He's, he's sitting on two K gold. Let's, I want them to press X to confirm this, but so You're just what? Losing two turrets top. Uh, Chad? Oh, I, I kind of want to talk about Chad, before Chad no! dies. No, oh, yeah. oh, Chad. Holy Revenge shit. TP is slightly cringe. Giga um, flank. It's, it's nothing. Tom, Tom Kench is oh going to be really, really fucking strong. This looks suicidal. Yeah, it, it is. I can't imagine this being good for immortals. They're just wasting time. Um... Maybe people will be like, wow, Revenge Freeze was so good. Um, he ended up catching up in farm. He was really fucked. Uh, and like, yeah, it was really good for him. Uh, but like, it was really, really bad for everyone else. Because what happened that entire time that he's freezing is their jungler couldn't farm a single camp. Because they're outnumbered everywhere that they go. If they go into bot jungle, oh. they're outnumbered because their wave is oh pushed my. in. Oh, <laughs> holy shit. Holy shit. Really? Jesus Christ. That was fucking brave. I mean, they're wasting oh, a lot IMT of time. Chad. Huh. Let's fucking go. And Licorice just runs it. And Ole yeah, just runs it. Yeah, that was really it. weird by Licorice. I'm kind of confused what he thought would happen there. That... Oh, wow. Baron, Golden Baron, Guardians Baron. is actually throwing. Dude, they actually got a lot of fucking gold right there. Yeah, they got a lot. Huh. About to get more. Is there bounties up? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, it's the money bag thing. That was tower. that was like one of the longest recall stops I've seen in my life. Like they got chased from the enemy and hit <laughs> to tier one and got canceled. And then not only did they just get canceled, then they just started running at them and fighting. It's like a whole minute of just like let me recall you, little bitch. Ooh, revenge got an entire rift maker off that. Holy yeah. shit! It's like he bought that before all that. Let's go. Now, even when you're against tanky targets, IE can actually outperform Lord Dom's. Uh, and it's just like the, the like math behind it has a lot to do with the difference in AD because Lord Dom's gives very little. Oh, what the fuck? Yeah, like, so just... like, I, oh. I definitely could oh. believe that stat. The thing that I look at is, you know, if you're in a point where you're not doing enough damage in the AD carry, the build path for IE is obviously much worse, right? Like, when you go Lord Dom, you can just no! get the shitty Last Whisper, and that's a much bigger spike than any of the IE components. And I think IE, yeah, it's probably more damage in a lot of cases when you finish it, but the build path's worse, and then also, like, I think it's less flexible, because then you kind of need to get your Lord Dom next. I, I will say I feel like the best build is, like, getting Lord Dom second so you can have Lord Dom and IE by third. Like that build to me has always looked like the best. Because it, it does, it's kind of like mages with voice yeah, staff. Yeah, I mean, that, that makes situation. total sense. Like, you kind of need both in any core build if you want to do like the big damage and shred them. Yeah, yeah. It, it could be the best, but 
It feels weird not having a zeal item second on a lot of champs. Like, only really champs like Ophelia's can pull it off, or maybe Draven, because they're so ability focused. Yeah, no, I think not, Jinx is not really. Really? I think, I was gonna I say think Jinx not Jinx. Is, yeah, Jinx is one of the worst to do it, in my opinion. Because she mm. needs attack speed to stack lethal tempo. Um, and it's, it's like yeah, the faster well, you can ramp it, the better. Yeah. The. The angle I, I saw for it was, you know, you get a lot of attack speed from your minigun and your passive. Yeah, but it's impossible to use minigun in team fights unless you're already oh. curb stomping it. Yeah. Oh. And. Holy shit! I, I think I think Licorice has lost his fucking mind. That's all I'm gonna say. Licorice is just like <laughs> inting the game. So we were talking about items before. Like I don't know if you guys noticed on earlier, Licorice just randomly flashed on the Blanc, like. There's no kill threat on her whatsoever. She's just gonna press W afterwards. It's not like you're gonna one shot her. He just completely wasted it. He's just been... and then like the first throw of the game was when he just overchased top lane because he was upset that they were stopping their recalls. He just like goes in and dies, and then yeah, he does that flash on the block, and now he just like runs in and dies. He started the game so, four, four zero. Yeah, now he's five and three. Like he's done every single throw of the game. Yeah, yeah. I wonder how much of it is just like him. He's definitely overestimating how strong he is, and I wonder how much of that's like from Draven in like, or like getting really early Lord Dom. Because in those instances, like the one where they're getting the recall stop, like he died pretty fucking fast. Like if I was a Feather Neck, then I wouldn't expect to get pounded in the ass like that. Oh, yeah, that's true. But I don't think either fights have been close whatsoever. Like, it's like <laughs> yeah, damn. Yeah. If it was like a slightly less fed Draven. <laughs> Like, no, he's just one. He's just walking in one yeah, four. Yeah. Um, and like, maybe that's cope. He got all of the. It's really easy to play when you're four and zero. Oh. Like that's that's like what annoys me is like, he got, essentially this is like his game because he got four kills that were all so easy for him to get, double kill and top crab, double kill dive. It's like, dude, you're set up for success. It's really hard to play when you're the one getting dove and you're behind, but like, you just have to play a pretty normal game and you're probably gonna look really good. Yeah, so. dude. Y you know what's kind of funny about jungle is like, unironically in Chad's position, like from the point where he kind of stopped farming, I don't even think it was like the wrong call. Cause if as long as you're giving those camps to your teammates, it's like they're probably gonna do more with gold at this point than you are. Yeah. And mm -hmm. like. It, it, this one's gonna sound cap, but like objective bounties, you're actually like padding the bounties by by being so fucking weak. <laughs> that is, that is actually, I'm sure Chad's mindset. But like it's here, Chad instead mentality. of Lee farming the wolves, it's it's definitely correct for Draven to take the wolves here, because yeah. he's just gonna do so much more with gold. But again, I mean that's why like sometimes I come back to like, I think it's sad the game's designed that way, but that is the way the game is. Like it's, and like, it's, it feels bad to be a jungler and just be like, yep, you know, it's just not correct for me to take farm past this point. I think jungle is the role that I have the least confidence for solo queue players to do well in competitive because it's so different in competitive versus solo queue. Like, your role is not a carry in competitive, and Ooh. it almost never will be. Even the best junglers in the world don't play like carries. Karsa plays full tank by. Like, it's, yeah. it's so interesting to see how, like, one specific role, just jungle, is so different in competitive. Yeah, I mean, and that was always... Here comes the burger flip. Oh! Boom. Objective bounty claimed. Chad Let's clutches go. Clutches it. Let's fucking go, Chad. And they just run. Yeah. Holy uh, that's fuck. A good, that's a good call. That's a good call. The enemy team getting mountain soul there would have been a disaster. Could IMT have fought? Not sure. I was only looking at the dragon. It... It didn't seem like it was just lost. It was kind of weird. I think... They, yeah. they, they just but gave to... it up. To add on Only to what a... you were saying, Peter, like, jungle is one of those weird roles too, where it's it's not the case that jungle can never carry a game, but I don't think jungle can ever consistently carry a game, because it's kind yeah. of like you you only turn to a carry those games where like, you know, just turn to a bloodbath and you get like a million kills early, which yeah. happens a lot in solo queue and like competitive it can happen on occasion, but you know for the most part, it's not really? how the games are gonna go. And he's got a flash. Got arrow got random and slowed. Oh. Run. Uh, Dang, they are just not doing well in these fights. Successful defense by Immortals. I think now thinking 
thinking again, like, what should they do? Are they going to contest this 3v5? I Another would... Chad steal. Another Chad steal? Holy shit. It's coming. Very Pogger stuff. Very Pogger stuff. I I don't like Golden Guardians committal to this at all. Yeah, Chad Maybe does they that just flash. Maybe they just go for it and say, oh fuck it. Oh my god. Bye bye. I, I love it. I love it. Yeah. I, I love it. I love it. Good job. Finally, Licorice actually does make a really game make play. Good job. Huh. Going on the Draven with no no sums. What a god. Good Dude. timing. Good timing. Everyone Rose was able to follow the stun. Played that pretty weird, didn't they? Like, I feel like they should have just let Lee give it the Lee stay. Yeah, because there's no yeah. way they could fight. Yeah. Huh. That's the, they, 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 that. That is totally true. All right, let's check they this don't... one too, because the, the fucking jungler's knocked out for GG. Yeah. yeah. And then they just don't take the fight here. Like they just. I mean, I guess going for the drag makes sense. But like, is that not fightable? Like, a dra I, I think Dravenar Revenge right played here. this fight pretty poorly. Dude, Dravenar would have shredded them there. You just didn't throw it. Don't you want to wait for them below before throwing it? Literally, Corky would have died instantly, and they were all stacked. Mm. It actually right. would have done so much fucking damage. Mm. But why, why would you not throw it's, it? It's hard to it's hard to imagine. Like, what's the point but, of saving your yeah. R? For that one right there, boom. Big ol'. <laughs> Big up. Wait. Travis is saying what would be a bigger surprise? TSM's performance or Golden Guardians ending fourth? Whoa! Are they fourth oh. if they win this? Oh, oh my. well played, well played. Oh, uh, it's a tie break. Mm. Yeah, if... So they could. Yeah, that, I don't know. What is a bigger surprise? Golden Guardians ends fourth? Wow. Yeah, that. That's one that of those feels... like fourth in quotes, in my opinion. Yeah. Because when you watch them play, like they don't play like the fourth best team, even if their record is the fourth best. Yeah, standings. Honestly... Oh, Chad, NT, Chad. bro, NT. I think NT. Almost lost cheese. He fucking flashed it. He did. He also had a Tom Coward. Kench alive to to save him, but. <laughs> Thumbed nah, he's a fucking actually. pussy. Wasn't your fault, Chad. True. Okay. Okay. My Billy should have taken it. In my opinion, Golden Guardians is carried pretty fucking hard by Ole. And they usually draft a pretty... They usually draft face roll. Like, for example, a Blaze Olive almost always plays shit like Corky and Victor. Lost That's always plays hard scaling it to carry. And I mean, like, it's good. Yeah, it, it is good. It is good. But like, I think most valuable player on the team is definitely Ole for me, just because he typically makes stuff happen for them. You can't scale every single game unless you have people who are willing to make like make the transition easy for you early. Um, Lakerish has good and bad games. This game, he he like popped off, shit the bed, popped off. Uh, Rice Locker, he's just okay. Just okay. He's Lost, chillin'. Just okay. He's aight. Yeah, it's crazy. I didn't realize until recently how many people enjoy gambling. Because, like, I personally don't enjoy it. I mean, I'll play blackjack here and there. Maybe I'll play poker if I, like, was knew how to play the game. But, like, you know, I, it's, like, fun. But I, I know that it's probably not the best use of, like... Definitely not a good use of money. Um, but like, I didn't realize how big gambling was in the world. It's like, it's like one of those vices that is like so popular, I guess. People love betting, people love gambling. Yeah, I mean, I believe it's been a pretty common thing for a super long time. But let's be real, everything has a price. Like if somebody goes up to you guys and says, I'll pay you $10 million a year to stream my gambling site eight hours a day, Fuck that. There is a price to everything. Like, there, there is an amount of money where you would say yes, even though it goes against your, like, what you believe in. Oh, I mean, yeah, I would fucking do it, but. Yeah. That would. It, I think my biggest concern, it sounds fucking boring, dude. Like, 
Oh, dude, it's, it's that so much. I can't, I can't understand why people gambling. watch it. Why you do you got, watch it? I don't get it. You you would take that deal, Medias? Ten mil, eight hours a day, like gambling? Yeah, fuck yeah, dude. What? That's so much money. I would not come close to that. Really? Yeah. That it's that's so fucking boring and disgusting. But, but you've made enough. Money <laughs> but it's a lot life. of fucking money. You can it, do like you can do that for a year and then do whatever the fuck you want after that. I but, but mean, Sneaky might have already reached that point. Maybe not ten million, no. No, but like you've reached a you've probably reached a point where based on your lifestyle, you can live comfortably for the rest of your life and money's not really a big issue. Probably. I mean I mean I'm making an assumption here, but I mean you might be closed or you yeah. might have already reached it. I like I, I get what you're saying, like there is like a number that you know you would do a lot of things for, but like <laughs> <laughs> fucking you, you heard the number eight hours a day slot machining like what i mean whatever the fuck gambling is included on this mm -hmm. like i think it's like mostly slots yeah i think for 10 million i could i could manage i could be strong enough <laughs> to fucking spin the wheel yeah it's it's funny man like we were talking about this and like you know people work fucking at mcdonald's eight hours a day and they get paid like 40k a year and like i i actually agree with sneaky I, I probably wouldn't do it for 10 million but like i would I, it, like i would do it i just don't know how much money it would take Dude, to... didn't aiden ross fucking like actually leak his discord with the amount of money he was making on that shit like it was some disgusting number it was like the one in my chat said millions of week. thousand a week yeah it was like a million a week yeah that's like, crazy like right? that's that a lot is, of money that is an insanely disgusting amount of money yeah, so there you go. Like, if we I'd be down to get a million that, a week, I would. That's I would about, take that. That's about like forty-eight million a year. Forty-six, forty-six million a year. Um, and like, yeah, if somebody paid me forty-six million a year to stream their gambling site every day. Well, I'd definitely do it for a year. I mean, I didn't. I would feel terrible, honestly, but I'd wipe my tears away with money because <laughs> I might have ruined some of my fans' lives by getting them addicted to a gambling site. But like, I think everyone has a number, unless you're seriously the most virtuous person. Is it yeah, a virtue I mean, thing? I don't know, dude. I feel like people well, can okay, gamble I mean, responsibly. I, I think there's like, yeah, like there's, there's responsible gambling. And it's like, you know, you gamble just for fun. Like you, you go in it expecting to lose. Like you're not there to make your money. Like, like it's your fucking job or something. I was gonna say you like- You just I feel do like, it for, for the fucking hope that you can win and then yeah. you lose but you you pay for that hope so yeah i'm actually friends with mo and i like him but like let's just say that mo has a fan who supported him ever since day one and he's been watching mo yasuo's uh you know yasuo streams and when he was a 500 viewer streamer he moved 11. up to being a 10k viewer streamer he popped off he's been a fan of him for years and years and years supported him through the ups the highs and lows and you know because yasuo now is mostly streaming this website he gets into gambling and he gets addicted and like maybe that ruins this guy's life maybe that ruins this guy's relationship like i feel like there's no way that he's not aware that he probably ruins someone's life probably there's like a really extreme there's almost 100 percent chance that he ruined at least one person's life but like i i think that's kind of like a lot of assumptions though because how yep. is that any different than like playing League of Legends and people look up to you and they get addicted to League of Legends and that ruins their life, right? Well, because League is not the same level of life ruining vice that gambling is. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, I, I think, think for gambling, some people it can. It, gambling is a way higher level. I, I mean, I yeah, because like you can go into financial ruin, sure, but like I still feel like it's similar in the way that like you can't really save someone from like doing something super irresponsible. Yeah, I mean, hmm. I, I think I don't think the act of promoting gambling in itself is bad. Like, I I think I think that is fine, but it's just the extent of it, like how much. What? You Guys, how is promoting gambling not bad? The whole point of gambling is that the house always wins. It's literally a way for someone to extract money out of people who a lot of times are like. 
Well, no. People who gamble a lot of the times are living shit lives and they're going for that Hail Mary that's going to get them out of well, their shit life. Oh, no, no. So I, I agree with you. Like gambling is okay. Like, like some forms of gambling can fuck you. Right. But the act of promoting gambling in the casual manner is not necessarily a bad thing. Yeah. Cause I think like for me, I don't think I would have trouble sponsoring a gambling thing, but if it was like a cigarette company, like I wouldn't sponsor cigarettes because they're just kind of bad all the time. You don't, you can't responsibly smoke cigarettes, right? It's just purely damaging you. Where I think gambling is not the case. I think, I think you can like gamble healthily. I'm sure it's yeah. Can give people some like mental fucking release. But the 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 conversation was: Would you would you spam slots every day all day? That that's where it's like <laughs> fuck no. So so but, sneaky. It's not even about the ethical thing for you. It's just the fact that you don't want to stream slots all day. No, I, like, I, I no, I said I said gambling in its casual form is ethical. Like you're if you're in it for the fun. If if you're gambling as your fucking job and trying to like not just your job, but like you're gambling to try to like save your life and make bazillions of dollars. Like that's just an unrealistic thing that never happens. Like you can't win. Yeah, you can get lucky as fuck, but you're still gonna the, the amount of time and effort you put in to get lucky as fuck was just not even close to worth it. Like you're just gonna lose the whole time. Oh wait, no, because so I don't know this hundred percent, but I've heard from a lot of people the gambling sites that sponsor the people don't give them like fake money to play with like on their site you know just like credit them they just pay them so much money that they even if they were to have like lose like right like let's say the house wins 55 percent of the time um or 60 percent of the time even they, they're just gonna make so much money off the sponsorship alone yeah that it makes sense it's gonna completely outweigh any amount of money that they're losing like you know tra train bring down 20 million dollars sounds insane but if he's still net up like fucking 80 million or something it it doesn't matter. So I I, th I think like the point is that you don't care if you lose. Yeah, I mean, I I think I think we're talking about different things here too. Yeah, I feel like that was something different. Because oh, well, like I said, like I think casual mm. gambling. There is nothing wrong with casual gambling. I I I, I yeah. agree with you. I I do not think like fucking what what train is doing like gazillions of gambling like him winning twenty two mil like those types of things like those that's just not real. It's not. Yeah, it's not a thing. winning a twenty-two million dollar like jackpot or something that feels fake. I think if they're lying about the amounts of money and doing it to like bait people in, that's unethical for sure. Wait, wait, wait. I I actually believe that it's real. Like, well, okay, I meant just, real is in like. I mean, no, I don't know no if it's real or not. Yeah, I mean, there's but that, it but like, seems pretty fucking rare. Like, nobody's okay, actually gonna go and win that. That's that's the thing. If he if he's streaming like fifty thousand dollars slot pulls every time he pulls the machine pulls the lever it's fifty thousand dollars of his own money and he does this ten hours eight fucking what five hours a day every day for years at some point he's going to hit that like point zero zero one percent chance that it like yeah and it will it, it will recoup like a shit ton of money that he's lost because he's probably at that point down like forty mil and then after that he's down like twenty mil well okay so when I said it's not real is in like that's just something that nobody wins. Like, he only won that because of exactly what you said. Like, because he's yeah. pulling the fucking machine the entire day, all day, every day. Like, yeah, it, yeah. It, he might be bound to get it after losing way more money than he ever put in. Or sorry, yeah. than he ever would win. Well, yeah, that's, that's, the, that's why it's fucked up, bro. Like, that's yeah. why, like, fucking advertising lottery tickets and lottery yeah, winners I, and, like, Powerball and gambling is all fucking so stupid. I agree. Slots are the dumbest shit ever. I, like, I don't know why slots exist. It's just a means to throw your money away. And it's not even fun. It's actually so <laughs> stupid. Why do old people like it so much if it's not fun? Because they're don't fucking know. stupid. I don't know. <laughs> slots are dumb as fuck. <laughs> I think, like, Blackjack and, like, fucking Texas Hold'em, like, Texas Hold'em's not even gambling, but, like, Blackjack is, like, somewhat fun. It's, like, the closest yeah. thing to it. I, I, I think like poker because... Because from slots. Because you think by being like, oh, I fucking hate if I'm under 16. <laughs> like, yeah, that's any different from pulling a fucking lever. Well, I mean, People there's strategy to... I mean, there's strategy to Blackjack. Yeah, there's strategy. There's so there much is. strategy in Texas Hold'em. There's a ton of strategy. Wait. Way more than pulling this fucking lever. Wait, are you actually are you against Texas Hold'em? Huh? No, I'm talking about Blackjack. Oh, okay. 
yeah, yeah, I mean, I, I agree. Like, Blackjack's still gambling, but I, I, I just said Blackjack is, like, way more fun than Slots. Slots is just troll shit. I back. Yeah. I, I was baiting a little bit there, but um, I, 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 I'm, I'm not into gambling at all, personally. Yeah. I only gambled a few times, too. Yeah, it's it's so weird. Like, I remember I was like so virtuous when I started esports, and I thought I was like, I was thought I was like, I had this like holier than that attitude. Like, I am, um, like I would like look down on influencers when I was a pro player, and I, I would say like, dude, I would never advertise like energy drinks because they're so addictive. And then mm. obviously, I got sponsored by like at some point I got into energy drinks and I liked them and I and I like took sponsorships mm. for them. And right then, uh, how I convenient hmm. how no, convenient I, I just, you started liking them before like, you got sponsored by them that's very <laughs> convenient that is fun. no i actually legitimately uh, anyways the point is yeah, that yeah, i think everyone has some sort of line that they like really don't want to cross um but they totally would cross it if if enough money was shoved in their face i think that's funny I, I gotta say, TL did probably the only draft possible that's gonna give TSM a chance to win. They give them Zeri, and they gave him a good matchup for Jarvan. Like, speaking of no, favorite champion is Jarvan. They picked dude. They've already won. They took out all the stops. No, dude. I, I seriously think Zeri's... I mean, everyone knows Zeri's so broken, but, like, then, then you're giving a very easy Jarvan to... Just feels bad, man. Just feels bad. But maybe TL's just so good they can outplay this draft. Like, not like they got outdrafted that hard. It's just that TSM is playing good champs for them. True. I don't. I don't know about Ash. Seems pretty meh. But I don't know. It's probably really good against Zeri early. Yeah, I could see it being good. I could also see it just being completely curb stomped in team fights because. Yeah, yeah, that would be the scare. For sure, you just yeah. don't get the engage, and they go on you, and you're just fucking dead. TSM is playing a great, a great comp against. Oh my god, he's actually carries. taking Irelia. Is this a real comp from TL? By the way, they have no, 380 it's, carries. <laughs> it's it's 380 carries with Brom. This it's is actually carries, fucking Exodia. Good idea, I guess. But TSM is a good answer. It's like they have all one shot dive champions that counter 80 carries. I, I think... don't like the Viego that much. I think another frontline champion. Like, if you actually want this to be the fucking Omega comp, you just pick Trundle. And then you just have like so much DPS. You have like Braum and another frontline. And Braum just CCs everyone with autos. Yeah. He just tags everyone and they get fucking killed in the Braum stun. Pentakill is amazing. Golden Guardians won last game, right? I'm doing the Gamba. Uh, yeah. Oh, I just made that up, but yeah. <laughs> oh, man. I, I like this a lot. I Oh, Spika just going straight to Raptors, or what's the move here? So what do you like in steal. which part of this? The Hoonie flank? Um, oh. I like that they did a scout. They found out, like, they, they, they essentially know that TSM doesn't ward for the early invade. So this is... This is kind of why you see junglers like run up to their spot ward and switch to sweeper. But Spika didn't do that. And the only way that this invade works is if you know that basically this this guy doesn't doesn't do this kind of defensive ward at level one. They just sneak this, up on it and go. This game specifically is actually the most obnoxious to play jungle during. And it's part of the reason why you don't see certain junglers in the game at all, like Vi, Rek'Sai type ones, where, like, if I'm Spika and you look at TL's comp, you can get late invaded on either side of the map, right? So, like, there's no correct answer for where you should start, because Graves is strong as fuck level one, and then you have Ash, Brom, bot side. So there's yeah. actually like, no safe option. So there's, there's usually two counters to this from level one that, like, kind of came up when we started playing in LCS 20. 13 to like 2015 lane swap era is like so if you're weak at level one then you force the invade and you split map yourself and then if they come retake they're showing on your wards so then you can back up to your side of the jungle or 
You kind of sit in mid lane with wards on both sides. And then if you see them invade, you just go to the other side and you kind of just match their farm timing. You know, you start your buff, they start your buff. And oh. is this a dive? Oh. Maybe Ooh. it is. Oh my it is a dive. God. Uh oh. Can Santorin get him? No. Nope, he has flash. Damn, dude, speak as fuck. They gotta show his face got during that one. They got Bjergsen. Oh He's my. not happy. And then Buipo flashed on him and he gets out? Oh! Wait. What? Buipo is... He was gonna kill him there, I think, so... I'm, I'm not that mad about the W back, but... What? Was he not just completely out? No, no, Buipo was gonna kill him there with... He still, I think he was gonna have E up soon. I think he could have tried to block the autos with his clone. And ran. Yeah, that would've been... A I mean, maybe he nice wouldn't have gotten play. out, but... Kinda went for the juke, though, right? Like, like the... I don't know who's... What kind of Viego's getting juked by a LeBlanc just popping in on your face. Well, no, not the... Not the yeah, Viego. One like, trying to juke Graves. Yeah, just but... commit to walking one direction with both your clone and you. Oh my god, he's getting slammed. They might get 1v2 here. Yeah, Straight up. I don't know if this is a kill. Uh -oh. No, never mind. Actually, it is. He just got it's full a HP. Aurelia. Yeah, it's it's Aurelia. <laughs> Wait. Jesus. Ooh. When did I really lose her Q? Get in initially? Yeah, the first the first Let's Q. Let's see. In. This is a dive bot lane. I think Core dies for it, and it's totally worth if he does. Just die for it. Just die for it. Oh. Would Core, would core <laughs> say he's going to die for it? <laughs> or did a hilarious w flash there that was like he flashed in place straight up and he huh. fucking e Wait. backwards yeah that's e weird court kind of greeted it he wanted to live and trade his flash yeah he he, just he, going down with his ship was the play there yeah he failed his flash too. <laughs> not the best play i still think all things considered i would be pretty happy to successfully dive there and trade one for one Usually, the reason why, like, I've noticed is, like, when you do this one-for-one -one trade on the turret, the, the AD carry who gets dove feels like, oh my god, I got so ahead off this because I was able to trade one-for-one -one in a 2v3. It's like, it, like, feels good, right? Because you outplayed, like, an outnumbered situation by the enemy. But then when you come back to your lane, you're fucked. Like, because your wave had just been, like, sitting on your turret for a while and it's, and it's bouncing back. Like, usually the enemy team has quite the turn on you again. Uh-oh. We'll see. Oh. Oh wow, and and fucking core shows up top lane, man. Oh and my god. Beats your ass with the money bags. Oh my god. Feels bad to be hoony. There's only two supports in LCS that would make this play. Core and Vulcan. That's it. No yep. other support in the entire league is good enough to know when to run top. I, I swear to god. Vulcan did it yep. in the like Renekton vs. Vayne game and made Renekton stabilize his lane, and Core did it in this lane. Where it was like, wow, it's so disgusting when you get this play made on you. Sunder Corky. Mm hmm. Huh. That's pretty fucking disgusting. <laughs> what do you think he's building? I don't know, but that's fucking dirty. Dirty dog <laughs> shit. What's wrong with it? It's hybrid pen. It's terrible on Corky. <laughs> Really? Because I thought he did uh, hybrid damage. No, he's not hybrid. He's fucking magic. He has like the most lowest fucking fizz percent. Oh, oh everyone, everybody. 30% of auto attacks? Everything. Hmm? It's like 80 20. What is this? 80 20? I'm pretty sure it's 80 20. I'll Google it. Yeah, yeah. His, his, um, Corky's damage is no longer 50 50. It's 80 20. His autos. That they like gave him an identity. He's the magic damage eighty carry. Yeah, it's eighty twenty. It's eighty twenty. It's still fifty fifty on his E. I it's eighty twenty. His Q is full magic. Yeah, I'm pretty sure his E's half and half. Yeah, that's and the only thing they left. It's full magic. Oh yeah, it is eighty twenty. His damage split is like the most fucking magic ever. Mm. Yeah. So yeah. dual True. pins legit trash. But, um, yeah, that's fair. I, I imagine the reason why he's doing this build, he's thinking about the enemy comp. It's Jarvan, Aurelia, LeBlanc. He's going to take a certain amount of guaranteed damage. So he wants to, like, cushion his HP. 
there's certain there's certain champs where like you just have to take damage so the more of it you can mitigate or like ignore the better because once they once they pop that they're like kind of out of steam um i wonder if is it actually fucking sunder i don't know but i don't uh -oh. hate it this game uh oh and he's dead bye bye and shinji actually what else could be tried shinji's, shinji's out yeah Wow. Um, I mean, he can go into try with that. Yeah, he can build try and minimune. Well played by Spika here. He is covering the like one wave Ooh. later play Ooh. by oh, still wait. dead. Oh. Or just flashed, by the way. The fuck is going on? This is such a weird game. Yeah. I'm done counting. Interesting. How do you think Tactical feels when he plays against oh. his former team minus what him? The fuck. Oh my god. Good good play by TSM. Good play by TSM. Who needs dead though? <clears throat> good play. Oh. Uh wait. Maybe not nice play. by TSM. Are we watching the same play. Wait. <laughs> wait. I thought it was good. I guess not. I guess... Dude, fucking speak it like opened up by himself, did zero damage, oh. had to flash out, got fucked in nice the ass. This is looking nice from TSM side. I, I meant it was good for TL. I, I think I have okay. a speech impediment, guys. I see. Huh. Makes yeah, more dude, sense. I heard usually trying to like dive into Braum in AD carries. Is, I mean, the opener from Speaker, like what the fuck was this? He, did, uh, he wants to put down. He, just, he, he ults graves with E. Like what? I think the idea was they were just like horny for the fucking TP to his standard combo. Like he put his flag down and then he TP'd and then speaker was like, "All right, I'm ulting in." What about a ward like that pink over there? <laughs> did they have it at the time? <laughs> I mean, like he can place the pink as easily as he can place the flag, you know? Yeah, but you can't. Drag to a pink ward. <laughs> you can only drag to a flag. <laughs> they should let him do that, actually. Instead of flag combo, go, pink combo. He just goes in, and he baits everyone to commit to the fight, flashes away. Yeah. Later, guys. Doesn't the speaker really like Jarvan? I think AD carry is always like playing with Jarvan, just because engage, attack speed, uh, and he's one of the best junglers at ganking bot lane. Yeah, I mean, sure, he's he's really good and competitive when he's strong. Like, he's always felt bad in solo queue. I see. For that reason, like, he doesn't scale. But in competitive, yeah, he's pretty much fits the mold for what you want in a competitive jungler. Just kind of depends how, like, well he duels the meta junglers or whatever. Dude, TSM speed. was trolling so hard there. They're against Ash. Their entire team is in their face on the turret, and they're like somewhat close at all. It's actually such a troll. What the? F hmm. Bye bye, Huni. Had to. That's actually a huge benefit when you play against champs that don't that don't get played in scrims or like only one team plays. It's so obvious to us because we're spectator, but like it's so easy to lose track of what champs the enemy team has and like what you need to be afraid of. Yeah. You Even just, just like one. One like random thing that Ash always does that can fuck you up if you're not thinking about it is like if you're doing a weird path, a punishable path, and Ash is level two and Hawkshot's all six camps, your jungler is just gonna have like a good ass time. You know, like if, if for example, like you leave your Krugs open or something to getting invaded, you're counting on that to like not get fucking stolen, and Ash just Hawkshot's you in a bad spot. It's like, uh, can't gank and my camp's gone. Blows. Yeah. Dude, so traveling his Ash is so fucking tilting. Yeah, I know. I, I love playing Ash for that reason. It's, it's I love frustrating the enemy jungle. In competitive, doing that is like so valuable. Yep. Um, again, though, I'm still not the most fanboy of the, the pick, but I think Hans has been playing really well on it, so maybe just keep doing you. Yeah, I think Ash is another one of those champs who's just has so much utility that is, if she's 
playable at all in lane. She's then that, yeah, she then she has really good crit. Dude, Mirce is legitimately feeding this game. He just got shit on. And they lose this actually since Warren dies here, they get wiped. He just fucked him so hard. Oh, Wait my a god. Sec. That's Yo. Baron, that's Baron. That's four kills in Baron. Dude, Hooney actually just put it in Bjergsen's ass. I know, Bjergsen's actually been playing pretty fucking bad. Um, he did go Sunder, by the way. Yeah, he did. He's been playing really bad. Uh, this so, comp is dog shit, and this build's dog shit, but this comp is even worse. How the fuck are they losing with Braum? I don't like this. I mean, it's Corky Viego with Gravestop. I mean, like, they're... Yeah. This is such a like top. top and bot win or we lose kind of team. Yeah, I mean, that fight started horribly, and I, Bjergsen's build is like maybe this will be good later, but it is fucking weak at the moment. Yeah. Yeah, I think I think Corky honestly is one of those champs though that just scales with levels. He can build yeah. fucking ravenous Hydra GA, and like his rockets will still hurt like crazy. Yeah, Bjergsen, if Bjergsen just flashed the Aurelia ult, this is actually just completely different. Yeah, I, I'm not going to pretend that flashing the Aurelia R flash at that range is easy, because it's not. And if your mouse isn't perfectly in the right spot, or if you don't have, like, really amazing reactions to it, um, you're going to hit. It's a point-blank R flash from Aurelia. You're not going to dodge that shit unless you're completely mentally ready. So it's like, oh my god, he's so shit because he couldn't react. He's a boomer XD. No, I think that would hit like 90% of people. I think it's about positioning. Like, it's it's mm. less about his reaction to that play, but like more about like, if you are in that position, you need to be ready for it. But like, just don't be in that position. Just like, don't, don't be there. Um, yeah, that's fair. No I, I think, do you think he could have been close enough to follow up on his teammate's collapse without being in that range? Probably. I think he just max range with rockets, right? Like, if he's a thousand range away and Huni does a max range R flash, he's gonna react. Right? Uh -huh. You're not gonna get clipped by a max range R flash, but like, he's playing 600 range. He's like almost auto attacking Huni. Uh, I think that seeing a mistake is. If, if TL loses, it's just because he fucked up right there. I think uh, we can talk about draft and all that, but like, TL was winning this game until they gave up Baron and like four kills. And now they're gonna give up two turrets. Yeah. And now, of course, gonna die. Maybe. Holy but fuck, they killed Braum. And you get straight out of the You know they're too oh, fed when they're insane killing Insane ulti, insane ulti, Hansama did! Oh my god, TL's gonna win! TL's gonna win! Or CSM's gonna win, TSM's gonna win, sorry. TL's gonna win? Hmm. TL's gonna win. TL wins this. No, no, sorry. I, I, I can't talk. This is exactly talk. where TL wants to be. I keep, I keep saying the wrong shit, but you guys know what I mean. <clears throat> I have no idea what you meant. I really <laughs> thought he... <laughs> no, <laughs> no, I'm trolling, guys. <clears throat> I was saying Dude, the wrong uh, team. I, that was a nasty I really old. Yeah, yeah. That that was a I can't be having these it. Brahms lose. It really goes against you're, you're my a little Brahm theory of Brahm being so broken. Well, it's not, not support playoffs yet, Meteos, yeah. so it can't really win. Uh, I guess Spring Split Brahm is a little bit weaker than Summer. <laughs> you're right, you're right. Where's Winter Brahm? Winter Split. They're all oh, winter from. Oh, Jesus. What is this TP by Graves? Is this for real? Is it Graves or Corky with package? It is double TP. Is it <laughs> It's package? both, baby. It's both. And oh, Whippo? Fucking oh. shit. Whippo? Oh. Wait. Oh! Wow. Well, I feel what like Whippo had no fucking oh. business doing what he just did there. No way. You know, Santorin's fucking him on bot side. Oh, huh. my God. They just wiped him. What oh, the my fuck God. was that? I feel like Whippo just Whippo just made us did something play. dirty there. I don't know. Like that looked sus as hell, and he came out ahead. Dude, when he when he did a solo TP, I was like, if he's alone, this is troll as fuck. And then two seconds later, the homie comes in with package. Like, watch him here. He like buffers a stun with his ulti. I think flashes the ult. He also flashed the LeBlanc chain there. He's not even close to dying. Oh, I wonder... that arrow. That's a headshot. Yeah. Oh. I wonder how much of him surviving there is because of Gore, or did it not make a difference? I feel like it... he's not even close to dead, so maybe it doesn't nah. make a difference what build he's going. Yeah. I mean, I think whatever. it It definitely would make him tankier than a lot of other things he could buy. Mm -hmm. But I think, yeah, in that instance, it was because he flashed the Leona ult and the LeBlanc yeah. chain at the same time. 
Yeah, that was sick. He must be running Legend Tenacity, and it's so frustrating for champs like Leona to fall off a cliff when stuff like that stacks, because it's like, they're just playing the fucking game, and all of a sudden, because they farmed up enough, like, cannon minions, yeah, they, they just have enough tenacity so you cannot chain CC perfectly anymore. Yeah, um, Legend Tenacity is pretty whack rune, in my opinion. Yeah. It's Definitely another one of those smart. things we're talking about with, like, exhaust, where it's like, I feel like lately the game's Perfect. been balanced around that thing existing, but mm -hmm. it kind of seems like not a great system in general. So so if they ever take it out, it's going to, like, you know, cause yeah. problems too. I would say, like, a lot of times it's an invisible feeling too of, like, when you base with a perfect amount of money to upgrade an item, and normally you wouldn't upgrade that item, right? But, like, mm -hmm. you just base with 1,700 gold. It feels really good to do that. Yeah. The fuck? Because you're like, this is the biggest spike I can be on right yeah, now, yeah, like, given gotta, like, this recall. Look at Bipos. How tanky is he? Let's see. Uh, not that oh, tanky. He's guys. really he's tanky. Yo. Holy shit, shit. He's dead. He just can't die. He's unkillable. Aurelia R flash. Hold just up. A hold up. Hold up. Stop watch. Oh, he gets a reset. He gets a reset. Oh. This fight's oh, fucking we'll take close. Over dead. It's actually close as shit. I don't know who's going to win. Zeri might kill everyone. Zeri might kill everyone. Oh. Maybe. Big maybe. Turn into Jarvan. Oh! Uh, Brom, oh Brom God, stunned, outplayed. Son. All right, Teal Holy. wins. Yep, Teal wins now. Damn, what a sick paid by Whippo. <laughs> Incredible stuff. Yeah, actually, that is an outnumbered fight. I just, here. I just want to like point out that like it's a fucking. 20 something 30 minute game and how the fuck does core have stopwatch up now it's just so weird that he never found a, a good chance to use it earlier or he never bought it before this point and like if he doesn't have stopwatch here he cannot bait this he cannot r stopwatch and get the yeah he, he just gets fucked yeah he just dies instantly um that's really good and playing ash against jarvan just seems not the most fun, but it's okay. He shot an arrow. <laughs> it's okay for the comp because their comp's pretty shit. And imagine you threw like a regular eighty carry down there that's not Ash, then it's even worse. Oh yeah, uh, some I think sometimes your job is just to take aggro of the enemy team and like just yeah. do your best. Just do your best. What I like about Hans is like. Yeah, sure, he's willing to die, but like, a lot of the ADKs in LCS would just, I'm not even kidding, they would just not die, but they wouldn't do any damage. Mm -hmm. Like, straight yep. up. I think your team is committed to the fight, everyone is taking or doing damage. If you're playing for KDA there, you're a dumbass. Yep. Yep. You have to have some trust that like, at, you know, at that point, Bjergsen will clean up, Bjergsen and Santor, we're going to clean up the fight for you after Jarvan uses everything on you and is in like a horrible spot. So, it's, it's just yeah, funny it's, like... it's 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 like that idea that if say there's one guy who has an ability that'll like one shot somebody right, and then mm -hmm. it's he's in a one v five and everyone's too scared because they're like oh I don't want to be the guy who gets one shot, mm -hmm. and then he just has power but it's like as soon as he uses his thing he can't do it anymore so he, you know obviously, in most of the cases it's not an actual mm -hmm. one shot so it's even better. Yeah. This game really feels like absolutely nothing even close to resembling a first place team playing the ninth place team. Like, it, it feels <laughs> like TSM is just right up there in like top three strongest teams in LCS based on just this one game, but this like all the pressure is off. Game. Oh shit, I mean, all, dude. Core's going Zonia. So is yeah. Leona. They I know, bro. They know. Imagine it's that powerful. Jarvan's frozen heart is a Zonia. <laughs> or Viego's... Yeah, dude. Oh, no, Viego's going Zonia. Yeah, dude. I don't know about that one, but G8 you... and Zonia. Uh, I, yep. I'm, not even... I'm just curious, Minas. I, I'm like not even like trying to be antagonistic or anything, but like if you were driving this game, do you think that Zonia's would be a better buy than than uh, like the Rosenhard or the Force of Nature? Uh, I think it can be, depending on like you know how much gold you have when you're basing and shit like that. I see. But yeah, I think it's I think it's not bad. 
I think that, like, against this comp specifically, they're, like, a lot more damage over time than bursts. So, like, even if you zone you, you're still just going to get hit by the same damage afterwards. Like, you can't avoid oh. a whole lot, but... Yeah, definitely. Wait a sec. It's still, it's still a solid, I think. They're actually dead oh, as fuck. Hans is just dead again, but Beerson has package, right? Beerson has package, right? No? I don't know. Oh. Wait, who's oh my winning? God, he's killing everyone. Oh he's my killing everyone. god. Kiel's, Kiel's winning, Kiel's winning. Oh, wait, dude. Centaurian. Penta, 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 Penta. Beerson. He has to uh, Penta TSM. Beerson, stop. Oh, uh, you're a fucking pussy, man. Dude, he's actually going to try pussy. to act like he's above that. He's like, yeah, I'm too humble to go for the Penta. <laughs> oh my god. Stop the cringe. Oh, no wonder that... Spiga called him a rat, dude. He's not even going <laughs> to Penta them. Pussy. Who wins? Who wins? Oh! Wait, Stormraiser, Corky. I, I think the... So, I think Zeri's release date was a little faster than... More recent than Viego, so... Zeri wins. Yep, it's a Zeri dub. Oh, Jarvan didn't build Zonia and Jarvan didn't win. Wow, and Bjergsen gets away with a troll build and wins. Let's go. But it's because he was so tanky he got these kills. Hmm. And the You're mad pin. sneaky. <laughs> Wait, uh, I, I can't believe you guys are hating on the, the Sunder that much. I, I don't think it was the worst. I'm not hating on it that much. Uh, I don't know what else you could have built to be a bit beefier. I don't think it's the best thing he could have built, but I don't think it's the worst. I don't think he needs to be tanky at all, and it's not like it's a tank item. Hey guys, um, if I heat up Styrofoam in the microwave, uh, can I get autism from that? Styrofoam? Uh, yeah. No, you, you you can't get it more than once. You're good. Oh, okay. Fucking okay. thank God. I'll be back. <laughs> so boner is Faker's jungler. Yeah. T1 boner. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Mm. Oh, both junglers looking for the play. This looks troll as hell on FlyQuest end. Ooh. Oh. That hooky hook. Is it wow, Medios? That... It it wasn't, but it looked <laughs> troll going into it. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking <laughs> Ole hooks it and just dies. I guess he could have flashed yeah. the hook, but... That's such a weird play, dude. That's actually the weirdest fucking play. It looks like Afro is super caught. He just oh. flash hooks Nautilus, and then somehow Nautilus is the one dead. Now Afro's dead. And now <laughs> Afro's dead. Rush always oh. did the craziest shit. Like, what if you were he there? Would, like, he would always invade, and if like if the enemy team played well, then he's dead there 100. percent But like, he'll always go for the invade where like it's just the solo queue shit. It's just like the solo queue shit of like, well, I hope their planes just don't have their mini maps enabled, and this will <laughs> be good. Yeah, I mean, I think it also comes out of the champs he plays, right? Like Lisa and Italy can, are very good at just getting away. Cause they go over walls and shit. 18. Yeah. Very much enjoyed playing like a psycho. <laughs> I'll tell you that. Just like, <laughs> it's just his thing. <laughs> Does he... Okay, but do you think he realizes he's being a psycho while he's doing it? Is he like, yo, this is fucking crazy. Watch this. Or is he just like, yeah, this is a good play. I... I don't think he's like giga justifying it. It's just like he just goes for it. He doesn't give a fuck. <laughs> it's like, oh fuck, didn't work. <laughs> Isn't Rush one of those examples of like the <laughs> difference between LCS now versus before? Like Rush was honestly at all times anywhere between like middle of the pack to like a low tier player, but because he streamed a lot, he had a lot of fans and he had a lot of support and people wanted to see him succeed. Realistically, got like he was never really a top tier player, well, and yeah. even though, he... I mean, he he was good. He just, like I said, he's a fucking psycho. Like he just goes for shit that he shouldn't, but he like outplays and it'll work sometimes because of it. Wait, I don't think anyone outside of your guys' team thought Rush was a good player. I I have not talked to a single pro player that wasn't on C9. I guess that thought Rush was good. Well, that's why I say he's a psycho. Like. Because he's a psycho, he's going to make people think he's bad. Yeah. yeah, Rush is a really interesting case where, like, sometimes I wonder if it's deliberate, but, like, he'll play so fucking bad during the season. Just, like, <laughs> when I would play against Rush, I'd be like, all right, I don't have to do literally anything this game. I'll just clear my camps. He'll find some way to throw the game, like he always does. And he'll do, like, some troll invader or, like, force yeah. a gank or just not 
gain any XP. Um, but then randomly in playoffs, he would just start playing like a human, like actually farm his camps and not do his stuff. So I always wondered, like, was it a fucking trap? Did he, like, want people to think he was an ape? <laughs> Yeah, I, I have no idea. I, I just, I always felt like Rush was one of the easiest players in the whole world to play against, like, because he's so stupid. He's actually very predictable. He will almost never do the, the right play. He'll just do whatever play Rush is capable of doing. If you're, like, able to, like, <laughs> if you're able to imagine how Rush would think about the game, which is, like, just do the most ape shit possible, you're probably going to make him useless. Like, yeah, yeah, I mean, more often than not, for sure he would fuck himself. With that. Yeah, I, I think his fans, in, in a lot of cases, and I like I like his personality a lot, and I think he had a lot of potential. It's like, oh my god, but he has insane mechanics. It's like, yeah, so did 20 billion people. Like, insane mechanics is not really special. Uh, being a good player means a lot more than that. And anyways, the po point I'm trying to make, uh, the, my, my original point, by the way, I wasn't trying to really flame rush. It was more just saying that even like a middle of the pack player back then, could have a ton of fans and a ton of support and a ton of hype like interest around him because he streamed a lot and i think that's honestly something that stopped happening as much in na that yeah you know like part of the reason why like we became popular is just because and we had value and we had like probably bigger contracts than an average middle of the pack like a regular player or a player of our skill level whatever it is it's just because we streamed and we had fans and uh like for example if God, who am I? Who, like Jose streams a shit ton, and but he's actually really good. Let me let me think about this. Who's like a just a solid player? Um, well, uh, it's hard to try to put an example on it now because, like you just said, like they don't really stream right now. I think there are a decent yeah. players who do stream though, and they just don't get any viewers. Um, uh, I mean, it it bleeds into each other. Like, I th I think. They haven't put enough time into trying to build it. Perfect. Not not to say that nobody streams, but yeah, I don't know. Back in the day, I think like you know people watched like Scar and Cutie Pie even though they weren't <laughs> really the best. You know. Whoa, I mean, what are you Scar trying to say about point. Scar, dude? So, Scar was good for his time for sure, but I don't. Have you seen his I Katarina? I don't think we ever really <laughs> need to write history, guys. Like Ding Toss was not a particularly great team, but they had some fans, and they were interested. Build the to watch. tower. Could oh, they not? Kill that, maybe Ooh. They... Hold up, no, that was their knocker and all. They could see the tower. Yeah. Hold the fuck up. Right Hold up. Oh, Licorice with the Omni Vamp ulti. Oh my god, he's healing so much. Huh. Holy, Holy shit. Holy fuck. If, I wish there was an item that could get you a little bit closer to the enemy team during the ult. <clears throat> Did he have Rift Maker? Yes. Yikes. What the fuck? Wait, that's so troll, isn't it? Oh, those He also got fruits? exhausted. Saved his ass. He got exhausted and his ult wasn't even in range of anyone. So he got double fucked. Oh. Oh. Oh, Ow. Tukui. I, I, I get that Rift Maker probably is like pretty good for your 1v1 against Orn because you can just out heal his poke damage. But. I don't yeah. know. See, it, it, I, I don't think it's worth it overall. I don't think you need it. Eh. What the fuck? My eyeballs. What was on Thresh there? Was it like two Thresh? What was that? Man, I, I really don't... wanted Golden Guardian to finish the tower here. I feel like they kind of trolled by not finishing tower before going for that fight. Isn't that just lost trolling this? He, he was hitting flash. the tower the whole time. Oh, okay. I thought he backed off at one point, but I might have missed... Uh, missed, like, read that situation. Jesus. That was a lot of damage by Bully Bear. You, you, you would not expect Bully to be the top damage dealer in a team fight, but... I guess Medios is trolling when he says Bully is not a hard carry. True. I guess you can just build Sunfire Merc Treads on Volley and do 3k damage. So... Wait, it actually is nice weird he went Sunfire. Knowledge. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, it's like um, it's like an on-hit uh, item now, it, right? Sunfire is like the carry tank item. I built this show yeah. on Zac when you're actually trying to be a threat. Yeah. On Volley, I don't know. 
He's he's like I don't... slapping ass and gra grabbing ass and taking games right now. Yeah, I mean he's he's doing pretty well. See how it scales. Who's gonna win? Oh, oh no, licorice! Oh no! That's unlucky. Fucking he has... kill though. He flashes for no reason. Oh, he flashed out. He flashed for no reason there. Well, there, were... there was no threat on him. He's yeah. gonna keep you back in. It's a Haunter TP. Holy shit! Oh baby! Is he gonna if he had it? flashed, this would actually be super threatening. It's still a little threatening. Oh wow, he's keeping wow. in sight. Wow, that he is going from behind though. Wait. They, yeah, it's, they it's can't a, really run. Oh, cool, the Guardians Insta is gonna die. Insta exhaust. And he's dead. <laughs> nope, never mind. <laughs> what he's the dead. fuck? Dead. He could what? not out heal it. Dude, Dude Flex oh, got the biggest heist ever. They got soul and everyone, ex well, Jose dies for the, the soul, which is totally worth And everyone lives the cannon flank. Like, how did that happen? How does dude, how I, fucking Jose it, it, yoink the drag? It's his fucking itemization, dude. Like, why does he have Riftmaker, man? It's actually it's, so troll. It's epic for my 1v1 versus Orn. It yeah, does know. legit nothing. No, that licorice? spot he was standing in was also just really yeah. bad. It's like his his like wiener is showing out of like the the guys in the bush can totally see him and he like doesn't know. Yeah. Like that's what, a pretty what, big mistake. When you play flank this? champs, you kind of need to know vision. Like wh Exhaust. why couldn't he have? Like, if he'd had a real item, and he went up into a Felios and fucking Ori, like, they just die, even through exhaust. Because he stuns them, and he does damage. But he, like, didn't even get to go up, because he doesn't have yeah. the extra boost. I mean, he was he was a bit of a hook magnet there. He got hooked, then flashed out, TP'd in, got hooked and exhausted. I, I think it's funny that Afro had exhaust, which I, I imagine is... Has not really been used much this game. Like, uh... Not good oh, for lane, that's for sure. Fuck but it's, exhaust. It's OP. Fuck exhaust. Exhaust, people riot. He got exhausted Hate from it. Orn before, and then now he got exhausted from Thresh. Yeah. Yeah. It's just every team fight. Pretty much. Uh oh. Ooh. <laughs> it's actually funny. Um, one of the, the, one of the counters. One of the counters, like two Nautilus. Is is Orn? Uh, Orn or is. Whoa! Oh! Oh! oh. Baby. Holy Lost. shit! Lost is fine. Jose's trolling, and Price Soccer gonna get out. Oh, oh no! GG GG can win this Exploded. fight. Exploded. Yeah, this oh. is weird. But they Flyquest has soul, but they don't actually feel strong at all. I guess part of it's it's infernal soul, and they don't really outrange them, so it's hard to take advantage. No, I I think they're, they they could to, they they should totally win a team fight, dude. I I think they, they just need a one shot Nautilus. <laughs> Straight up, like that is he, the biggest threat. Yeah, no, they, they, they don't. Really they fight. don't need to dodge the fucking the back. Oh, oh my god! Whoa, whoa, Johnson. Ooh, Johnson, Johnson kind of, kind of fucking oh. dead. Kind of fucking dead. Damn. Oh, that was Johnson. cool though. He flashed in, got a big ass flamethrower. Q. Yeah. If he had a better gun, that could have been good. It was cool, but it was actually horrible. It was, I was like, <laughs> whoa. Does he see an angle? No, he just wanted to flash in, use his stopwatch, and uh, die. He did Never mind. get away from Kennen for a sec, but yeah, yeah, didn't, yeah. didn't mean anything. Yeah, that, that's that. That's true. That's true. He was kind of kiting Kennen with that flash, and oh my god, man! It was a pretty weird angle to go in. Yeah, it really was. Just because Ori was a bit out of range and. I think when you're against Nocturne, you have to be like more careful with your fights because if you're spread out, people can't actually tell what the fuck's going on. Umo's ults have been not great, and then in this fight, oh Wait, man, Takui missed that QW. They did kill the Nautilus, which was the condition we just said, right? That's true. Yeah, they just one shot him. the Nautilus. Huh. So wait, that well, isn't how you win. What's going yeah, on guys, here? Yeah, guys, actually, uh, I think that we should just, like, never hit the front line because um, that's what they want, actually, and because they're tank champions, like, I don't know why AD carries want to hit the tank. Hmm. Yeah, w w why Why hit tank? Jinx is the one doing the damage. Oh, my God. Fucking noobs hitting front line in teamfight. 
Noob attacking tank. He has Gale Force, you dumb fuck. Why? God, Kubo! <laughs> Stop ulting like a fucking blind person, man. <laughs> wow. Really like... feel, though. It's no, like, troll. honestly, this is, this is fucking reportable. Every one of his ults has been so awful. Yeah. Well, his team should have picked him Riven. <laughs> this is what his team gets. This is the fucking... Yeah, I can play Orn. Smile. Fucking Victor, Orn looks no, good here. Victor, no flash, doesn't have a, a 90 second cooldown dash. Like, you just wait for a good time to ulti. Yeah, I don't know why he's doing it like that. Anybody who gets knocked up can get chain CC'd by either a Thresh Hook, an Orialty, a fucking Rolly Stun. I mean, literally everyone on the team has some ability to kill someone without them pressing a single button. So, yeah. I'll, even though Golden Guardian's outranges, obviously, like, Jinx Victor has crazy range. But, like, there is a really easy win counter for was Just kill someone and make sure they don't press a single Ooh. button. Like, that's what your comp can do. Holy shit, is he a solo kill, by the way? Oh, boom. Oh. You better I zone this, you little pussy. Oh, oh my wait, god, Jose, he's actually dead. Jose canceled, Jose canceled his, uh... Wait. Yeah, what? Oh god. Oh, I goodbye. feel like Jose kind of let Kumo down here. Yeah, he... I don't know why he, he canceled. He must have thought this, it wasn't oh, good. Oh, this is, this is a good angle for a flag quest here. Oh, oh they one shot one Nautilus. They win! GG! Oh, no, no flash victor. No flash victor. Oh, nothing, nothing, nothing. Hmm. Did Jose have to back out there? Yeah, I think so. Damn, I would have stuck in that ass and... I think he... I didn't... Got I the whole team W key. There. Um... Uh, in this case, though, what's the angle? Nocturne is ulti, so he's a bit useless in this fight. But I don't think they should. Be, I don't think they can do it. It's just really. I don't think five should won't do really it. Take damage. Yeah, but like, the team that leashes drag is in a horrible position, and it's four v four. They're waiting for Kumo. I imagine TP ward. Where? Anywhere? Terrible spot. Whatever. It's fine. Maybe somebody should have put a better ward for him. But it's a flip. They, they it's may be actually out of a flip. Like, Alright, Saka's going flash smite here. He's flip, just gonna go flip, for hard flip, steel. Flip, he actually can't flip, see it. Flip. Oh! He can't see it. <gasps> oh, oh my god, that was close. Oh, he didn't get it. He Better didn't get jungler it. wins. NA, NA, NA. Get Honorable and Elder flip. flip. Fuck it, I guys. respect it. It's a tiebreaker. No other game. Way to play tired. tiebreaker. Let's go home. Dude, why is it always fucking tiebreakers that come down to this kind of shit? You never fucking see like base races and elder flips except for tiebreaker matches I don't know it's pretty fun though hold on it is hold on what the fuck's he doing up here <laughs> Wait, how, how did they get through his omni vamp did they must have had grievous for that <laughs> I don't yeah, know how the I, fuck else they could have killed him he's probably so fucking upset dude he's actually gotten exhausted every time oh my god who could yeah, have I mean, imagined this would happen dude it guys you are we really going to give Licker a pass for how he's played today? Uh, he's no, played like a fucking he, dog the he, whole game. I mean, his build day. is just, like, making him grief, too. Yeah. I mean... His... Yeah, exhaust is annoying, but, like, that's like a fucking... That's a false flag, you know? Yeah, I mean, every time he's gotten exhausted, he also hasn't even been in range with the R. So, his like, build... his position has not been good with the R's themselves. His, his massive throw in the Renekton game, like, back to back to back, I don't know. It, he's not been playing great today. Yeah. You right. You're actually wrong, because in his interview, he said he's been playing well, so... Oh, sorry. my bad. The point of picking Cannon isn't to fucking split push, it's to yeah. one-shot yeah. back lines with Flash Alt. Yeah. 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 Oh yeah. Oh okay. shit. Oh nope. Sorry, it's Ray Charles on Orn again. My bad. <laughs> he was nocturnal, dude. Come on, man. Oh. He has a family. Dude, Kubo is actually just tilting me so hard. This is like BB's first game on Orn flashbacks, like. I cannot believe he's playing this champ this way. Like, he's played Ward like fucking 20 billion times two years ago. Like, come on, man. Did he get blinded there again? I really didn't pay attention. He, he, was, he was getting gangbanged by Nautilus. 
Uh -huh. Is that why he... Like, he couldn't... I mean, he was, like, real in their face. Like, yeah, I don't know how I mean, he expected he, to get the second part off, but, he just, like, he, he, just he was in front of their face. Yeah, yeah, I mean, like... It's just... Yeah, it, it was a pretty questionable idea to ult there in the first place. If he keeps playing like this, I would not want to play Orn anymore. Like, he's done absolutely nothing the whole game. All he's done is run in bot, try to get a solo kill, die, miss every ulti. Fuck it, man. Just play Malphite next time. <laughs> I mean, Orn is not Coach played Double a whole left. lot. I don't really know Ladies why. No, I mean, Orn is not a Mouth face roll dude. champ. He's not face roll. Like, you have to be, like, somewhat decent at the game to play him. And especially in competitive. Oh? Wait. <laughs> why is that cone just sitting there? That's such a sketchy cone. To fight on. Dude, he actually <laughs> fucking perfectly died. That was so weird looking. They, yeah. they all like disengaged and they just killed him on the way out. Like right as he finished his <laughs> fucking stopwatch. Cool yeah, guys dude, do they're... not look at Nautilus explosions. Yeah. <laughs> it's the one shot Nautilus strat. They're actually doing it. Oh. Uh oh. Wait, do they have the damage to get through the lifesteal? Look at this. <clears throat> oh, oh my god. Oh my god. He saw a plus 42 in there. Ugh. Damn. And he got a exhausted blaze, again. Blaze Olive with his absolute special move. <laughs> Play Victor, get cut. Dude. But yeah, oh, actually, man. kind of matters I... here. Like, he could actually defend Victor. No, he could have been. Dude, honestly, and Lost gets oh. hit by royalty with the force. Dude, okay. I think if I'm oh. TL or C9, I am so fucking comfortable coming to playoffs. TL, C900 Thieves are like fucking jerking, their mob, jerking themselves off like furiously watching these games. And TSM. And TSM. Of course. That's never how I watch TL. LCS games. Well, you've been doing it wrong, dude. Huh. What is your other hand doing then, Medios? Wait, other hand? What's the first hand doing? Uh, browsing the internet while watching the game. Hmm. You need two hands to browse the internet? 13. Unlucky for them. And just like that, Golden Gamers are eliminated. They are literally killed off from the from... tiebreakers. Yeah. Now it's a carry, of course. Caitlyn <laughs> is is horrible against her. Just just horrible. Why? Zeri's just a AD carry that can farm really easily in tough matchups because you can just stand like 600 range away from the creep and just Q, and it's really hard to miss CS. So like getting pushed in doesn't really matter. And uh unlike other AD carries, you're not rushing the same item. You have like different divergent build paths, so I feel like Zeri can quickly turn the matchup like really quick. Like first base, come back, start winning, or like especially on Trinity Force, just turbo smash, Caitlyn. Sweet. Wait, Jesus. are they really picking Xin Zhao in the year twenty twenty two? With a oh, four yes. second ulti? He's so dog shit now. The fuck you just say? Four no. second ult? Yeah, they nerfed his ult from five seconds to four seconds. It's shit. Oh. Wait, that's All right, true. EG doesn't want to win this one. Yet again, EG has drafted themselves into a fat L. <laughs> no well way. Well played, I'm, FlyQuest. Congrats. I'm just so surprised that FlyQuest and, and a lot of people value Viego so highly. Like, they think that... They think that Viego is so much better. The difference between Viego and the next best jungler is way bigger than the difference between Zeri and the next best AD carry. And just thinking about the best teams in the world, I don't think the best teams in the world would think the same way. Like, yeah, you can visualize that those two camps are gone and Krugs are still up, but like, I think it's just a lot better to. Oh, Kumo is... Kumo is not uh -oh. ready for this one. Oh, the body language is kind of giving it away. Should be fine in Flash. Kumo got, like, a good amount of info, but I think it's not the worst that he had to Flash there, simply because they saw him on Gromp, and they probably expected him to contest Bot Crab there. Oh, I like what Jose is doing. Say 1v1, stun, no stun. What's he doing, dying? Oh, oh Jose's dead. You like oh. that, Medios? Yeah, you like that? Yeah, that was sick. 
Oh hmm. my god. It's actually fucked now. It's my fuck. He's just Yo, Christ. Why is he allowed to have Coom in his name? Kumo. Huh. Well, that was about as bad as it could have been. What were you saying about that play, Sneaky? You liked it? Yeah, you like that, Minios? Hmm? Hmm? You like that? No, Jose I mean, the... that's definitely the play you go for if you know you're stronger. Um, mm. But yeah, the execution, not quite there. Let's think what Flagpost is thinking. Minion DPS allows to the cannon, so they have... They okay, have wait. Viego wasted his E right before this. That was pretty fucking troll. There was no reason to E there. He just didn't yeah, have E for this fight. Faster, huh? How the fuck did they lose this? Nah, but all right, I didn't see that part. That was troll as fuck. No. Oh. Pretty sure if he has E, they just win this. What about I don't just know fucking about... walking up I don't and know about dying? Winning this, uh, that seems ambitious. Oh, dude, do you know how big a steroid that he is? What's the numbers? No. Give it to the us. numbers? It's 30% attack speed and 25% move speed. Yeah, for I, eight I don't seconds. Know. I don't really know if that was going to change too much there. I, like, he got ignited too, which I'm not sure if he... He definitely can't... I mean, he can get away counter. pretty easily with his E. He's fast as fuck. Hmm. Yeah. Be a good team fighter. What's the appeal in Gore Drinker Graves? Oh, or drinker. I, I was talking about a hex drinker, but <clears throat> oh, oh, oh Vulcan actually just God. Ran it. Yeah, Vulcan actually. Ran it. Uh, another game changing fuck. roam. What the arrow hits? And oh, Jose is toast. It... Wait. And JoJo's gone. So this is why people first pick Viego because FlyQuest's best chance of winning the game is Jose getting fucking Viego shit done. But like honestly, that was just all Vulcan's problem flashing in. They didn't have enough damage to kill there, and honestly, he, I think the main thing is he lost track of the enemy team. He didn't see or realize that they could be hovering and shadowing his lane. They thought it was a 2v1. Why does Zeri have two points E? Be uh, because it's, uh, it's mistake. Mistakes happen. <laughs> huh. Sometimes your brain, like, just big fart meteos, and then this is what you get. Kind of like Bjergsen in uh, Divine Sundra. I don't feel like I miss level up my abilities very often at all. It's weird how much it happens. He's actually maxing it! What? He literally just put another point in it, by the way. No really? shot, he's maxing yeah, E. Yeah, he's at 3 and E right now. Guys, there's no way. Let me see it again. Let me see Is it again. Danny he just legit? like dead set I think on he's, being I think edgy? He's ha no, I think he's having a stroke. Like, there's, <laughs> this is not one of those things where it's like, oh yeah, I could totally see why Crit Zeri could maybe, you know, be good this game compared to... Yeah, this is like one of those things where it's like, uh, fuck, I'm trying to think. Like, it, it'd be like maxing W first on Ezreal. It's like, what the fuck? You're... Like, yeah. no, like, Q max isn't just like, good. It's the only way to play. It's the only thing that you can do. Like smoke by Maxing max smoke because yeah, isn't yeah. E the, the last one you're supposed to level? So it's just, I guess any pretty... champ leveling their utility ability first would be that. So it's pretty split. It's it's interesting because before when you e max, max e, it reduced the cooldown, and yeah, you max dash. It reduced the cooldown, so um, people were thinking like, oh well, maybe the extra W damage and slow and stuff isn't that good compared to having E up more often. But then they removed it, and people still max E. So really, the only thing you're getting when you max E, is 10% more pass-through damage on your Q. Like the yeah. piercing yeah. damage. So... I don't think it's 10%, is it? doesn't seem like it's worth that many points. It goes, yeah, it's 10% per, so you get 60, and then it goes up to 100% pass-through damage. Oh, they changed the scaling? I thought it was like 80 to 100. I think it's they, like 60 to 100. They changed the they changed the scaling, yeah. Um, but yeah, it's... I was looking at it and I was looking at the numbers and thinking like, am I doing something wrong here by maxing W second? And I think it's really just up to the game, but I think E max is a bit overrated second. And maybe, uh, maybe Danny's showing me that you should actually be maxing it first. 
Do you think th there's any chance he's on some <laughs> insane tech, or do you think he's just no. gone off the rails entirely? No chance. No, he's I don't. Gone psycho. Yeah, I stroke. definitely think it's a it's a stroke angle. I think Zeri is off. fucking the most insane. Yeah, it's fucking crazy. Holy shit. That's not a sneaky arrow. Sneaky's <clears throat> arrow would have came from a lot closer. <clears throat> came everywhere. Oh my. Yo. What's happening here? There's a lot of battling. Jose's getting epically pwned. Wow, is he get out? Yeah, he's out. <laughs> Danny ults for the kill, <laughs> you little rat. <laughs> worth, worth, worth. Honestly, Technically more gold. overall gold for the team. Yeah, totally worth. Who dies here? It seems a little sus because he might want his alt cooldown in the next fucking oh. two minutes or whatever. Oh, oh that! Oh, oh my oh, god, that was close. DG is yeah. kind of running them over, dude. Impact's fucking Apolly. popping off this game. Yeah. Yeah, they could have played that dive any number of directions though, because they had Harold to like reset tower aggro and tank. <clears throat> yeah, that was a good play. I think. Just the second time in a row that Jose's died and like gotten everyone killed. Cause like the first time it got his top and mid killed, and this time it's it's even worse. It's like worse than an early game triple kill. They just lost like so much. Oh my god. Ooh. Not the most useful arrow. Honest just I think FlyQuest needs to back out here and let Johnson push mid. And honestly, I am I'm a bit worried because the way that Afro likes to play is he he doesn't like to play glued to the AD carry. Something that he's always like disliked is essentially like babysitting the AD carry. That's not really his style. Mm. When you play Tom Kench, I think like you really have to. This looks really cursed for FlyQuest. Yeah, How there is the inside track again. Like this? I'm like oh. really confused about what FlyQuest thinks is is happening here. Huh. Oh did, god, this looks did, ogre. They didn't even need Danny to be a part of the fight. This looks like a uh, fifth place isn't so bad, guys. Yeah, it doesn't <laughs> matter the most. Maybe just so FF and go home. Dude, I've, I've played these games like Johnson is in position right now. It's like, I'm on mid wave. I'm doing my job, right? I, if I leave mid, they just take the turret. But none of my teammates seem to give a shit about me. Like, I just, I'm just like a fucking abandoned child. Like, they don't care to involve me in the play, so he's just permanently stuck. Yeah. If he if he if he tries to connect with his teammates, he gets cut off and dies. His team needs to like establish a path and like bring him fucking chaperone him over to the fight. But they're just leaving him on an island mid and it's just making the game so hard. Yeah, so. I'm, I'm a bit confused what their plan was there. Like why were they so far up top lane to let EG wrap around them like that? I don't know. It's a pretty weird position to end up in. Fucking they didn't learn their lesson. Balling. Maybe well. Max Zeri is just OP. <laughs> so good, you don't have to do anything. You just I mean, ran randomly snipe a kill on a is one he HP, winning or not? One HP Viego. Sneaky, is he winning or not? That's <clears> all I'm asking. I He's winning. Think he hasn't done anything. I think he's been yeah. useless actually. And so is Ash. Yeah. <laughs> In a good mood. Nice. I respect that. Inspired's guess... getting his fucking balls blown off. Jesus. Wow, he actually could have got his GA proc right there. Yeah. Oh! He actually wow, just that was... dies? Was he just sitting there stacking balls for like 10 <laughs> minutes or what? That was... <laughs> Fat all. Wait, how come Takui didn't have a GA there? That would have saved him. Stacking balls. What the fuck? Did you just yeah, say? Yeah, it's Q. Hey, uh, hey, any hawk shotters? Any hawk shotters, guys? Any balls? I don't think stackers? you want to waste it. Oh wow, my. Jose almost steals it. 50 HP. Dude. Yeah, that was a good try. Oh, that kind of nap. Wow, that. I'm sorry to hear that, man. <laughs> a little dirt nap. <laughs> oh, oh, impact impact. Oh, oh, Jose. oh, Jose Diodo going ham. Holy fuck, the Tom Kench initiation. 
<laughs> yeah, uh, Siri, just insta died. Siri's kind of putting it in there, no, fucking asshole, no. right now. Get him, dude, Danny. Damn. Oh, oh at the end of the fight. Johnson almost made a smurf play. Wait, did Johnson really get IE instead of GA for that? Oh my god. What a throw. Dude. I think if I hear the word GA again, I'm going to fucking... Uh, I can't say these things on stream. You, you're uh, gonna I'm going to build gonna... one? Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to build one. going to have to get one myself. Hashtag ad. E Who could have expected EG to end up fourth? Dude. That's crazy. Quite interesting. It's TLC9 100 Thieves in Egg. I, it actually seems like the standings ended pretty close to what people predicted at the start of the split, right? There weren't any huge surprises. Maybe EG did a little bit worse than expected. I definitely think EG did a lot worse than expected. Yeah. People, yeah, I, you maybe could have had 100 Thieves slotted a little higher. And third. EG is a team though where like I would not be surprised if they just beat one of the top teams in a best of series because even though their record wasn't great they still seem pretty good but they they do some random shit for sure all right boys I think it's nap time yeah. for me it's nap time bed sounds good right, that was out. like GG's. seven games yeah GG so seven games peace yep. guys yeah Winning the seventh game of the day. I'm gonna let you call your shot. You're gonna be facing Team Liquid. First round, playoffs. How's that gonna go? Wait. Really? I believe so. <laughs> okay, then. I mean, I know that we already. Oh. Decided, so. Yeah, fourth seed going against the first, I believe. Oh, doesn't have shoes. Okay, then.